articles, videos, and more. Now, later on today, we'll be hearing from Square Enix and the Back for Blood team, not to mention the PC Gaming Show at 2.30 p.m. Pacific. That's 5.30. See, that's what I thought. It's just the Back for Blood team. Right now, we are talking nothing yeah. but Xbox. Probably going to skip that. We're born to do so. Let's dig into some of what we can expect from Xbox. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was wondering if it was going to be WB and they were going to show off like Gotham Knights or something, but it's literally just like uh, the Back for Blood game, so I might skip that. I'm just going to do Square and Xbox and Bethesda. I want Fable. I want more on Fable. Yes. I would like a Fable collection with like one, two, and three. Uh, cool. To go to like coincide with like a new fable, I would love that. They could do like a Bioshock collection, but Fable instead. Exactly. Because like uh, Fable two and three are backwards compatible on the Xbox One and Series X, but like it's just the Xbox 360 version. So it'd yeah, be cool to see it, like as a newer enhanced version. I'm just gonna turn this down until we get to the good stuff. So we can hear us. <sighs> yeah, I watched um before I left, I watched uh God, what was it? The little mini thing with uh Jeff Keeley that they had uh -huh. on Thursday, was it I think? And uh there's gonna be a new Jurassic World Evolution, so I'm excited about that. Oh, I might get that because my me and my brother play that game. The first the, one. The, um the Resource the, the management park where you run in like a dinosaur park. That yeah, one. it's pretty fun. Yeah. Well, I actually enjoyed the um um actual campaign missions and objectives you had to do during that whole thing. So Yeah. And then he and then Jeff Goldblum said in his thing like new new heights and new depths. So I think we're gonna get like aquatic dinosaurs and avian dinosaurs. This that time would be dope. That'd be fucking cool. I yeah. don't know if the avian ones are dinosaurs they're sauropods right yeah yeah but i think they're still gonna add them because they showed them also in like the little like trailer thing they showed so and they were kind of in uh the first game if you got the dlc you could get like the avian thing to place down but the enclosure but yeah yeah what was that uh giant like crocodile crocodilian one that was in uh the last jurassic park movie Oh my gosh, it's it starts with an M, doesn't it? Uh yes. It was like the big like you could like have stuff lay in its mouth and it could just completely lay, lay down. It's fucking yeah, massive. I think it was pretty cool. Yeah, I can't think of the it's there, but I can't think of what it's actually called. I'm gonna butcher it. I can't say easy words sometimes, so I'm really hoping Xbox announces like a new Dragon Ball game too, because they usually do it on Xboxes. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Ultimate League says uh, Mosasaurus. That's what it is. Bum ba ba bum. I want something about Tomb Raider, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Yeah. I'm gonna be a little salty if it doesn't. This is. Lara Croft and Tomb Raider's 25th anniversary this year, so. That's why I would think they would definitely do something like that. I don't think it would, like. Well, my only, like, hopeful theory is, is, um, a little while back, they were, they, they did a bunch of collaborations with Tomb Raider, and, like, all the skins that they're giving to these other games are all of classic Lara. Like, they do have, a few of them did get, like, new Lara from 2013, yeah. but almost all of them are, like, turquoise top, khaki shorts, dual pistols, the braid, you know. So it almost feels like they're trying to get, like, classic Lara, Lara's image, like, in people's mindset. So that makes me semi-hopeful that maybe they're trying to, like, use it as an advertisement thing to push... Tomb Raider getting remastered. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's that. I feel like that's me reaching for straws, though. Just getting like extremely like. Well, maybe. Because <laughs> remasters have shown to do really successful, so I don't. Just give me a classic Tomb Raider, please. I know, definitely. But yeah, I'm pretty much going into a lot of this with low expectations. 
there's really not a whole lot of games that I'm super looking forward to that I know about. Well, usually Dragon Ball games release like the first year of a new console generation. So that's why I'm excited for like yeah. uh, if Microsoft announces like a new Dragon Ball game. I mean, obviously I'll get it on PS5, but um, <clears throat> they usually just do it on Xbox to stream for some reason. Um, yeah, I would like to see something new for Tomb Raider. Well, I feel like if it doesn't get a remaster now, it's never going to. <laughs> Probably. Like, I feel like, like it's like now or never. It's like do or don't. That's I tried to get Rich to join us, so it would like the screen would look nice with just like three even boxes with the even screen, but he's out. Yeah. So if you watch this uh, later, uh, Rich, shame. 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 How, <laughs> shame. how could you abandon <laughs> us in our time of need? Yeah, right. I was I'm just going to do uh, Monday and Tuesday for uh, Bandai Namco and Capcom, but uh, I figured I would just do all of them because yesterday I did like almost a three hour stream. Yeah, I missed out on yesterday. Well, my, my plane didn't get in until three o'clock in the morning. So, so you uh, actually just got in like today? Pretty much. Yeah. That's crazy. It's fine. How long are you home for this time? I've been home for a while. Um, I felt like you just got back. I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm, well, I've been pumping out videos for like a month now. So. Yeah. How have the new videos been doing? Mm. Yeah. But my Soul Calibur videos aren't doing any better. So. Yeah. They, yeah. That's true. Like my Soul Calibur videos have dropped off like hugely. Well, my last character creation video where I dressed up all the girls in like unique swimsuits only got 188 is what it said in that. So I know a lot of people are hoping for season three um, on Tuesday, but I, I doubt it's going to happen. I think if they're going to do anything, they're just going to show stuff from like Tales of Demon Slayer and um, yeah. Scarlet Nexus. I can't. It would be nice. It'd be a pleasant surprise. Who knows? I'm kind of just going into a lot of this with like no expectations. Yeah. Just surprise me. Uh, Other than here, that's the only Luke. thing I'm like, I'm really like antsy about. And I'm a bit worried because I know I might get a little, a little emotional depending on which way it freaking goes. If I, uh, if we get a dragon ball release, I'm throwing my chair. <laughs> my, you're going to see my whole green screen background just fall and you're going to see my real office. Uh, Louis Estrada says, I love your creation vids. Kid you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because, like, uh, now you can, like, put up uh, – let's see. You can put up a green screen. So, <laughs> like, <laughs> I just did, like, my figures and stuff for, like, the Solomar Goon. Because, um, like, my regular office is the same thing, but it's just reversed. Because, you know, I'm actually facing the computer sitting on the chair. Yeah, so it looks like I have like two chairs. <laughs> hilarious. Damien Sinclair says, "Let's hope they announce the next console remaster with season three for Soul Calibur for our last hope." Um, if we get anything for Soul Calibur, it's going to be at Evo, not E3. The last time that they were had a presence at E3 was like 2018 when the game was being announced. Um, so like Evo has a better chance of announcing a season because I think they announced season two with Hamaru. They showed the Hamaru trailer. Yeah. So if we get anything for Soul Calibur, it'll be Evo. But then, like it's I also said, I, that announced. we're going to watch it, but I doubt it. Like, I highly doubt it. I do want to play the new Senua. The first one I didn't even really play good. the first one. The first one was really good. It was quite enjoyable. I 100 percent it. I have a weird, weird issue with um, playing as characters that I think are not attractive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It goes for guys right. too. Like if there's a if there's like an ugly dude, I'm like, yo, listen, I can't I can't be you, homie. <laughs> Let's make this first person, please. <laughs> I did I, I the same thing happened with Returnal. I was like, she's like she looks like a school teacher. Like I, why do I want to It's like that's Miss Bill, that's my English teacher. Why would I play as her? <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for uh, Scarlet Nexus. Are you getting Scarlet Nexus? 
I'm I'm not sure yet. That's the um hey day of drop one, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's got like the girl and the guy, and they got hoods, and it's got a lot of red in it. <laughs> yeah. Right yeah. Okay. I yeah. From, I think it's from the same team that did uh the what do you call it? <sighs> the last one that they did. I have the damn game, and I don't remember <laughs> what it's Ooh. called. I'm sorry, my brain got derailed by the hello there. I'm just sick of <laughs> General Kenobi. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> me and my that's like me and my friends thing. Like when we get online, sometimes we'll just message each other with a hello there. <laughs> this is why I start preying, by the way, before like it starts, because like you won't get anybody in like right away. Yeah, yeah. I've had two people already come in and drop off. I'm like, well, what do you expect? It's not started yet. Well, that way we have more time than not enough. Oh, have you seen the first uh, episode of Loki yet? I did. I watched it on the first day. I actually really liked I, it a lot. Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I was like, you know, it's funny that I have no idea what's going on right now, but I'm still having a good time. We're on this journey together with Loki, just being like, what? what, What's happening? Yeah. I I mean, I know about the, the time people from, like, the comics, but, like... yeah. I don't know. But I don't I know. I said the same thing that Loki it. said. I was like, well, what about the Avengers? Because they're the ones that like did it first, dude. Yeah, like, that's they, what they, I was thinking. I was like, oh, that was supposed to happen. It's like, they went to like multiple timelines. Captain America stayed in a timeline that wasn't even his. And they're just well, like, oh, you know, he's supposed to. I mean, he kind of was supposed to. I mean, that's the time period he would originally have been from. Or was he supposed to be frozen to become Captain America? Well, maybe it was both. I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's like how, that's, that's how do they know? Involving uh, freaking um, timelines and just time travel in general is usually really weird. It can go so many different ways. I mean, they already said that um, that's why now, like, uh, the Sam Raimi Spider-Mans and Andrew Garfield Spider-Mans are, like, now canon because they're just different timelines in the MCU. So in the next Spider-Man game, I mean, next Spider-Man movie, they're going to, like, be in it. So I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I mean, it's half like it's half like a a sweet, like a bittersweet, like sadness because, like, when GT was like, "Oh, it's another timeline for Dragon Ball," I was like, "Oh, come on, man!" <laughs> like, I'm gonna actually make this. Can I make this bigger? Dear Weagle. <laughs> well, I made it. I've made it full screen, so now I can't see. It's not. It's not full screen for mine. It's only for yours. Yeah. I'll probably put it on full screen if we like get up to go get something to eat or something. Because we're gonna be here for a while. Yeah. That's why I didn't want to do it by myself because sometimes I feel like I'm tired of like talking and I just want to watch. And it's nice when like yeah. somebody else can provide some commentary. Yep, I'm the same way. Well, and I'm also just a little tired. Like it's been it's been a long fucking weekend. You for probably me. got jet lag still and stuff. Well, so I just I missed out of sleep because like my flight kept getting delayed and kept getting delayed, kept getting delayed. I didn't even take off the ground until like one o'clock in the morning. I was like, wow. Oh. That sucks. Yeah. The only good thing was the the row I was in was completely empty, so I just fucking pulled my arm out. I just like wad like laid out on the freaking chairs. That's nice. Good. I love when there's nobody sitting next to you on a plane. Yep. And I always get a window seat. I can't of fly. Out. I have to. I have to be at the window seat. And I always. It's really funny. I actually always end up in the safest outside of where the uh, flight attendants sit. I always sit in the technically safest spots you can sit on a plane right behind the right behind the wing i try not right to sit near the emergency door, door because i'm not trying to help nobody out like i'm jumping yeah, out the window the shoot. I, oh my god i made one flight attendant so cranky one time when she was asking me was like do you know what to do? i was like yeah yeah i got it she's like oh are you sure and i was like yeah i got it open door people go i'm be like you see that old lady over there i'm gonna surf her down to the safety so <laughs> <laughs> that's how i'm gonna do this <laughs> <sighs> hate flying. Flying is flying is annoying. I don't find it fun. I think I've only been on a plane like maybe ten times in my life. Oh, I've, I've flown a lot, unfortunately. Well, yeah, because of your personal life. Yeah, yeah. 
See, I did it. I didn't dox you. I didn't say anything else. <laughs> I was trying hard this time. Well, they're showing Fable stuff here. This yeah. is what they showed last year. Yeah, I saw this yesterday. All right. See, I'm wondering, up, like, is it, I'm not, like, is this going to be, like, a new game? Or are they going to be taking a lot from, like, the first Fable game? Like, that's what I mean. Is it going to be, like, a reboot? Or is it going to be, like... I feel like it's possibly going to be a re... I don't know. I'd want something that's, like, between Fable 1 and Fable 2. It might also be, like, a new character, but we're, like, taking place in the same universe type deal, but it's, like, a later down the timeline or something. Yeah. I, I, as long as, like, I, I, I do like being able to choose my gender in the newer yeah. Fable game, Fable 2 and 3, so that'd be kind of nice for just, like, that kind of, like, silent protagonist. It would be cool, though, if we hear, like, legends of, like, the first, our first character, though, from, like, the first couple Fables. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Like, oh, this person really did this, cool. and... Uh, Daya Drive says the Mary Marvelite recently did a video about the time uh, variance authority. Yeah, they're just the time variance authority in the comics is just like a gimmick, though. They're just like, if we need to like do something, we're going to use them. Show me Dragon Ball. <laughs> That's all I care about. Yeah, I'm excited about Fable. Curious to see what Bethesda has. And I want to see if there's going to be anything on Tomb Raider. That's kind of like where I'm Bethesda, at. Bethesda, I'm just watching for the end of the trailers to hopefully see that PS5 logo. Because if it's like just the Xbox, I'll be like, oh, shit, I have to buy an Xbox now. Can I, can I play this on my 360? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I could do like a... A game pass and like do it on my computer but i'd rather to actually physically have an xbox if that's gonna be the case yeah i mean i may end up just getting a series x anyway that way like the stuff that you can't play with us on playstation i'll play with you on series x yeah my hair is just doing stupid things it looks fine oh uh bandai namco lewis is on tuesday at five o'clock est i'll be uh streaming then too Monday, tomorrow, I'm doing Capcoms. I will turn the volume up, guys, by the way, when it actually gets to the, when it starts. Like, right now, they're just, like, talking about stuff that they've said a million times already. Could you give us your best Dragon Ball or DBS character impressions, Mark? Oh, my God. This early in the stream, dude, I need, like, a, I need, like, an energy drink or something before that. I'll give it to you if we actually get like a Dragon Ball reveal. <laughs> I'll do that like Piccolo Funimation dub thing. <laughs> Remember when like Gotenks like turned Super Saiyan 3? And uh, he was like, yes, yes, you could do it. Yes, yes, you got this. Yes, yes. I was like, oh my God, Funimation. <laughs> it's like the worst dub. I think when he was like opening up that dimensional portal and like the Room for Infinite, uh, the, the time room, whatever it was called. I feel like my impressions sound like exactly like them to me, but then when I hear them played back like later on, I'm like, that sounds nothing like it. Like, what's up with the auditory like in my own head? That's weird. I'll be like, Kakarot. I'll be like, yeah, that's exactly Vegeta. And I'm like, that's not Vegeta. That was like, <laughs> I was like, Toby Maguire. What kind of, what am I doing here? That's funny. Ugh. <sighs> that's hot as hell of course yeah i can imagine thank goodness for central ac but it's not on now because my wife likes to put it up to like 70 i'm like put that on like 64 <laughs> day of drive asked if you can do any voice impressions kitty <laughs> No, uh, Dad Drive likes that. He was getting me yesterday to do like all kinds. When it was like I was on stream for like over two hours, and I was just like, whatever. Like, <laughs> I, who's watching at this point? I'm just going to do every, anything. I do probably a crappy British accent. <laughs> I'm sure, like I butcher those accents, like British and Australian. Like I'm sure, like if I did any of those for like a real person, they'd be like, yeah, what are you doing? 
probably like the basic like, Australian accent, like throwing shrimp on a Barbie and stuff, and a dingo eats like, baby. <laughs> I like uh, I like quoting movies. There you go. You think they're gonna show uh, Skyrim on a? Uh... <laughs> you think they're gonna show Skyrim on a uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X? <laughs> oh God! I think I wouldn't buy it this time unless there's like some major, major like renovations to the system or the game. I think I might have a pass this time. But I said that last time on PS4 too, and I still bought it on PS4. So. Yeah, actually, that's something I'm going to do at some point on the channel. Probably is go back and start where I finished or last left off with where I was in Skyrim on the Xbox One. We should try and see if we could do like a split screen uh, gameplay, like stream, like where you have both of our screens and both of our faces and we play together like the same game. That might be interesting yeah. if we can do that. That'd be pretty cool. I just beat Resident Evil Village this week, by the way. Very nice. I haven't. I've just been playing Minecraft. <laughs> Yeah, I saw. And then I also have it on the Switch, and I just started a new world, and I like looked up this seed to get a specific world with like specific biomes, and it's pretty awesome. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm like surrounded by like six of the rarest biomes in the game. Just poof, all there. <laughs> oh, you know what I did see yesterday that actually really impressed me? The, the Avatar game. Like, I wasn't I really interested in it, but it looked... It looks gorgeous. And I was like, dude, the thing that would sell me on that is if you can create your own Navi, like if you create your character to go into the world, like you create your own character, then I would be all in. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Has anyone else in here played the Nino Cooney games? Yeah, I played Wrath of the White Witch. That's the only one I played though. I had kids that have. Um what's that? I don't know. Battlefield 2042, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know if I really care. I haven't played a Battlefield game since like four. Well, I will be right back since we got like four minutes for the thing starts. Oh, looks like we're about to start. That's a six minutes. I'm going to turn the volume up now because it's going to start in like five minutes. I think we actually do get to see a little bit more of Elden Ring, uh, potentially a short gameplay segment. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we saw more of it because they they had their big reveal on Keeley's thing. They're just not going to have another beat during E3. I mean, Xbox is the stage where it makes the most sense to talk more. I think it's on Pacific time, Dad. Now, uh, we've also had confirmation this morning that we're going to see more Far Cry 6. Ubisoft tweeting that out this morning. So expect to see that on the stage here today at the Xbox Bethesda conference. But there's another big third-party game, and this one is exclusive, but I want to talk about for a second. Destin, I'll start with you. That is Stalker 2. This is a game that is a sequel to a, an absolutely beloved and critically acclaimed first-person shooter from those PC exclusive years ago. Now it's coming to PC and Xbox Series X. 
And this thing has done millions of views on IGN. I feel like it's kind of going under the radar, even though it's getting, like, people are clicking on it like crazy. They want to see it. But do you think we'll get a proper gameplay demo of Stalker 2 today? Well, I mean, the last time we saw it, they showed... I muted you, so people in here. Okay. This game has been You're on muted now, though. For Xbox specifically when they showed it in the past. I do think that we see some more Stalker 2 today, even if it's just to show off how gorgeous that engine is. You that is fun. Stalker franchise, but you can look at the I wonder if I'm going to get tricked into buying Far Cry again. You didn't like Far Cry 5? I mean, like, I just got bored, and I ended up just looking for wildlife. I always, like, just go and look for, like, sharks and alligators and stuff, and... <laughs> I mean, I'm not a huge fan of first person as it is, so yeah. it, it takes a lot to hold me into first person. I enjoyed it just because there was a lot of colorful ways to kill things. I just went crazy with it. I like the, the engine. I like the, the foliage and details and stuff, but the story didn't really grip me. Oh. Oh. It's going to get hot <laughs> and cold in here. Oh, I hate it. Why don't you just put the AC on? No, it's really loud. So, to deal with it. I'm sending you my well wishes. Hashtag don't die, kitty. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be okay. What do you think what they have planned for Resident Evil and Powerpuff Girls live action series? I don't I don't care about the Powerpuff Girls live action series at all. Like I don't care at all. Like at all. I couldn't I actually couldn't care less. Um Resident Evil, I don't know, like maybe some five deal I mean some village DLC would be nice. I don't know if anybody cares about the live action Powerpuff Girls. I didn't even know about it until now, I guess. So. It is the most unnecessary thing. Unless that's your like your favorite thing in the world, then don't leave the stream. I like it too. <laughs> I mean, I enjoyed the cartoon when I was younger, but yeah, I like the cartoon, but the live action series is like, hey, Atherin. Atherin said, I'm finally here. I hard crashed last night. Not sleeping for a long time. Knocked me out. Yeah. Kitty was just talking about how she just got in off the flight at like 3 a.m. So I'm sure she's right there with you. And she's dying of heat in an RV with no AC in Texas. I mean, in uh, I don't know if I can say that. In the Midwest. <laughs> I, I see. I, I did it again. I said it. And then I corrected afterwards. But like it makes a difference. I was like, hey. Hey, this is Steve. I mean, <laughs> Shadowhawk nine nine seven. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't matter when I already say it. I just should just commit. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that's funny. We'll just send everybody to like a, a wrong destination. Uh, <laughs> Kitty, Kitty's real name is Tiffany, and she lives in Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah i'm tired i can go back to sleep <laughs> we're just starting to stream <laughs> you should get a fan and do what i used to do in like college get a fan and just like put a, like a a baggie a, like of ice <laughs> And just tape it to the fan. <laughs> that's what that's what I used to do in college. Dad Drive says he doesn't care. He's no stalker. Do you hear that, Tiffany? <laughs> I don't know why I just pulled random Tiffany out. I guess I guess you look like a Tiffany now. You got to go dye your hair blonde. I I had blonde hair at one point in my life. She just come on the screen next time with like a Sacramento T-shirt on and like a Starbucks. And like, like, oh my god, this oh. game is so the tits. <laughs> oh my god, I, I can't even right now. <laughs> oh my god, here it goes. Yeah, you uh, can do that. Said, after. Ask, oh, did you see him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay.
I've gathered all seven Dragon Balls and I made a wish to Shenron to have a new Dragon Ball game this year for next gen consoles. I mean, it would probably cross gen. I don't. I don't think it would be. They never really do that. My God, I'm getting kind of hyped. I'm more hyped than I was yesterday. Come on, Xbox. Show me some good stuff. 20 years. That's how long Xbox has been with us. And like you, this is a moment I always look forward to. Xbox can drink oh, next year. New game. <laughs> my fingers from my favorite to return, hoping for a few surprises. Most of all, though, I love seeing everyone around the world come together and celebrate what games mean to all of us. And I think, you know, this past year, they've meant even more. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for the support you give us and one another. Mm -hmm. Get to the games! <laughs> yeah, right. If it wasn't for the friendships we've had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. They transport us through art and technology. There's real magic when you step into a new world and can make it your own. We've Come on, make me buy a Series X. A make me do it. Come on. And now, for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe with Starfield. Set hundreds of years in our future, it's an epic about hope, our shared humanity. I'm like mildly interested in this game. Greatest mystery. Yeah, I haven't really looked into it very much. It wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. We're excited to finally share our first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. I love how they, they, they have announced themselves that they made Skyrim and Fallout 4. It's like, yeah, we know who you are. <laughs> You've been yeah. forever. We get it. <laughs> they should be like from the makers of Fallout 76. <laughs> and everyone will be like, no. So, so this is supposed to be like space. Skyrim yeah, it's like an, an exploration and like uh, I think it's like a planetary game too. I like that gun. It's very Mass Effecty. Sure, it looks pretty. I'm guessing the game comes out November 11th. Hmm. They didn't show. They didn't show anything. Like I think. Oh, okay. That wasn't I don't know game if that's CG. Right? Yeah, was that CG? That definitely wasn't gameplay. They said gameplay footage, but I didn't know that gameplay that's footage. Not, to me. That's not gameplay. Mm -mm. I want to see gameplay. Yep, 11. 11, 11. I want to see gameplay before I get super committed. Thanks. <laughs> a, game can look, a game can look pretty all at once, but if it doesn't play like I want to want to play, then yeah. Pity games in the world from Todd Howard and the team at Bethesda Game Studios, a groundbreaking game, and yes, it's exclusive. Welcome to the Xbox and Bethesda. I look like you gotta get a Series X, Mark. I am so excited. Yeah, but I'm only like mildly interested in that game. <laughs> If they're like, if they're like El the next Elder Scrolls games exclusive, I'm buying like an Xbox like day one. I'm getting it right now. 
Like I'm already, I'll have it on Amazon's like order list. <laughs> yeah, I want, I want another Elder Scrolls. Or a Fables exclusive, and that's not coming to F the PS5, then I might get an Xbox for that too. I want to say it might be exclusive, but. Yeah, probably will, because all my other Fables are all on Xbox. Because mm -hmm. I have one, two, and three. Yeah. Oh, there's my there's my bad boy. Not that <laughs> one. Yeah, I'm not gonna get an S. If I get an Xbox, I'll just get an X. Yeah. Next is something truly riveting. The latest entry in the haunting and evocative franchise created by GSC Game World, Stalker Two. Coming first. Also known as all of Kitty subscribers. <laughs> And ray tracing. Let's take a look at what you'll get to play when it launches. Her movement is just so weird. So it like is. It's, it's very like, like is she a hologram or a robot? Because it looks very <laughs> jagged. Yeah. Coming out there looking like Aisha from Power Rangers season two. At least they're showing gameplay of something. Yeah, right. <clears throat> With FPSs, though, I need to see something like unique. Yeah, that's that kind of what I was uh, It needs to see be something that actually like mechanically differentiates it from the others because they all like kind of Bio blend together after a while. Like Bioshock, for example, that's a unique shooter. With a unique uh, environment, too. Well, this whole being when <clears throat> Chernobyl and like radiated stuff, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Now it's kind of getting weird. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Get weird. Get weird. <laughs> you ever notice how, like, post-apocalyptic, like, games and worlds, they don't care about cleaning? It's like, you know, I know we're all, like, in a horrible environment, but you can still make your room look nice. <laughs> Okay, I didn't mean this weird. Like tone yeah. now, you can, now you can tone back the weird. Go back to more <laughs> aliens and stuff. <laughs> Dad Drive said, a store of historical based game setting until <laughs> Oh, fuck that. <laughs> he said, <"Boo." laughs> Teleporting tentacle monsters. Yes. 
не заслужили. А Пуги заслужили. Is that Russian Chris Redfield? I know that's what I was saying. Leon Kennedy, I mean. <laughs> Russian Leon. It was a weird facial expression at the end of that. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I want to see some cool weapons. Now you're getting me interested. He's doing all this just to like power his iPhone. <laughs> Oh, that's a long trailer. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Still was kind of like, what's happening, though? Yeah. They're definitely trying to appeal to our uh, mystery. It's an exclusive, though. Hmm. It's on Game Pass, maybe. I'll give it, it a said, try for free. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. On Xbox, can you do the same thing like on PlayStation 5 where uh, if I don't have the game, can you still invite me to play it and like share your screen and switch with you and stuff? Mm, I'm not sure. I know that uh, you can add like people to like an Xbox family and they can essentially just have everything you have. Oh, so they have like game share kind of thing? Mm-hmm. If I get an Xbox and I'm joining your family. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's my brother from another mother. <laughs> this could be a pretty fun game, I guess, to play with a group of people. Yeah, Left 4 Dead, so I, I've played a couple of them. I like when uh, playing it with people, but some games are like meant to only be co-op, pretty much. Yeah, this would only be fun, I feel like, if you were playing with a group of people you knew. Right. I think it'd be, it'd be annoying if you had a random. I don't like playing with randos. I tolerate it when I'm playing like Overwatch or Paladins. Oh, that's yummy. Just gets thrown up on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guy's big. Yeah, that's a big boy. Big beefy boy. Play it day one on Game Pass. <laughs> game Pass is pretty freaking worth it. That's definitely they something stay on Game Pass, though, right? Like, as I know, they uh -huh. expire and you can't access them anymore, right? Um, No, it takes a, it sometimes takes a long time for them to expire, but anything that's owned by Xbox, it'll be there forever. If you download it, though, and it expires, are you still able to play it? No. No, you have to just delete it or yeah, buy it or buy it. Yeah. But I mean, that uh, it takes either a long time. And a lot of times, like a lot of stuff has been on there. It's been on there since they started Game Pass. Don't be copyrighted song. I am using fair use. I am talking over it so that I don't get copyright claim. A uh, la 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 la. Okay. <laughs> so I had to do yesterday. Some like rap song came on from Gearbox. And I was just like swag. 
Swag. <laughs> Swag. <laughs> Is Sea of Thieves still popular? I don't know. I played all I played a little bit of it near near and around beta, but that's just a game I never really got into. I didn't have enough going on with it. And we win news from beyond the horizon. A new danger is calling the tides. And the one who might stop this war trapped for all <laughs> Maki Sensei said, tell me more sweet little lies, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Dad Drive said, swag, swag, swag. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, yep. So they like fire him from the movies, but then they like, put him in even more games. They should have Cervantes as a character in this. Oh yeah, there you go. He's like Burks, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> This like fits perfectly in the Sea of Thieves, but if there was ever a series that has been beaten to the ground, like that I don't hear every like whenever a new one comes out now, I never hear anyone talking about it. They're just like, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like it's Pirates of the Caribbean 67. Yeah. I like the art style in this though. It's very like uh Hmm. Interesting. Client free is it's surprising. What's up, Devante? I already own all of them. <laughs> Why would they do the English version in the trailer? How dare you? I can't play this game in English. I have to play Yakuza in Japanese. Yakuza 7 is freaking great. I, I like really wasn't sure I was going to like it because they changed the style to like the RPG style. But it is so fun. Like the characters are so funny. All the different yeah. job classes. <laughs> It's <laughs> just the game is so crazy. I love it. Yeah, you can go play it right now. It's on Game Pass. Another Battle Royale game? It said captured live with like 148 players or something like that. So I'm guessing it's an arena Battle Royale. Looks like it. Yeah, games franchise that I could really care less about. Or game type. I'm not into Battle Royales. I'll play some first-person shooters like Paladins and Overwatch, but I've never been into Battle Royales. Same as I, I just like playing with friends and people I know. Like I'll play with like my subscribers and like the Yoon fam and 
like obviously like you and rich and stuff and people actually know but like it's hard for me to get into a game where it's like just a bunch of like uh randos i do it on destiny though because like you can have like your whole fire squad go up against other people and it's kind of fun to merc them yeah i just don't like the hurry up and wait thing of like battle royales i don't know just... yeah i know just be on a team versus a team simple easy I usually play like with one of my friends when we play Paladins and Overwatch. So I'm not playing by myself, not completely with randoms. I can be with randoms if I'm at least with a few of my friends. Yeah, I feel you. <sighs> Devante says, Well, I'm installing it. Uh, what are you installing? Yakuza 7? And Maki Sensei says, Does anyone even care about Starfield? I said moderately. Like it's not. It won't get be reason enough for me to buy a Series X, but it looks interesting. I, I need to see more before I can really say. I want to see the actual gameplay. I just want them to make me buy a Series X because I like love. I love my PS5. Yeah, Yakuza Seven is amazing, Devonte. It's fun. It's super fun. Starfield was the first trailer they showed. It wasn't even a trailer, though. Don't worry. It was just like a CGI like cutscene. It was like just her like going into like the uh, pilot seat of like some ship. That was it. Okay, mm -hmm. we'll see. I need to see. Uh, I need to see more Battlefield before I invest in it. So, how's your day? Oh, uh, you know. I have something to share. Oh, is this my birthday? We're having a baby. Oh, it's one of the best friend your father's murder eight years ago. It's going on. Shut up. We're not like this. What the? <laughs> <laughs> The hell? I've only seen this a lot, but I love you. I've seen this a lot too, but I catch you. That was so confusing. Was I watching 12 Monkeys with Bruce Willis? Like, what <laughs> was that? I just saw like two people rolling around the floor and I started hearing, hearing slapping. I was like, what kind of game is this? And I was like, oh yeah, I looked over on the couch. I was like, what is going on? I never played the original ones of these. I never played Psychonauts either. Definitely an interesting looking game, that's for sure. Yeah. Do you even know what the premise is? Um, it's like you're you're like a mind agent. You like go inside people's minds, and I can't remember like the whole premise of it. But the like these are supposed to be like inside of people's heads. Oh, okay. Wow, that's soon. It's like next month. What is that it for Bethesda? This is usually the moment when I say hello and welcome to the Bethesda E3 showcase. We love that we can share the stage with Xbox this year. And whether you've known Bethesda for 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. We started this showcase with my good friend Todd Howard, who gave you a first look at Starfield. Along with Bethesda Game Studios, all of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for 
are still in the works. And today, we're bringing 10 more titles to Game Pass for a total of 30 Bethesda games. They're like all Fallout. <laughs> Did you see that? It was like a whole row of Fallout <laughs> games. I think Fallout 3 is still my favorite. On June 29th, I still need to finish playing Doom Eternal. I still need to play it. I still need to get it. I haven't gotten it yet. I have it. I just haven't finished it. So share your favorite Skyrim memories, stories, artwork, and more on Skyrim10.com. Skyrim for PS5 and Series X? <laughs> are, are we going to get it? Wow, they're actually advertising it. Custom camp building, rich storylines, warring factions, unique characters, places to discover. You'll find it all here. In fact, Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass, thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming next in Fallout 76. Isn't it also like the most returned game of like all time? <laughs> Fort Atlas is safe. It came at a great cost. The Brotherhood must stand united. This proves more than anything the need for our justice. You're splitting our forces, Shin. The most important thing is finding everyone that's. Yeah, this, this game was a hot mess when it first launched. I wanted to play it, but then I heard so much like bad negativity surrounding it. I didn't even get it, I didn't even bother. I still haven't beaten Fallout 4 though. Yeah. Like Not I always restart as I, the Elder Scrolls. I like them both, but uh I think Fallout 3 is still my favorite when Liam Neeson's your dad. Yeah, Dad. They, but they always say they improve seventy six. I just want to hear from the community, not from like them, because they can they can say whatever they want. Does this still fall out? Looks like. Sounds like. New location, I guess, they're adding. Oh, okay. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with an amazing community. The Elder Scrolls Online from Cinemax Online Studios has now surpassed 18 million players and shows no signs of slowing down. I just want a solo campaign. <laughs> well, thank you. Where I don't have to pay for an expansion to be a fucking thief. I mean, like, if it was like co-op like Far Cry where somebody could just join your world, that would be cool. I'd be down for something like that in Elder Scrolls, but like, I don't want to play a fucking MMO. That's yeah. Pretty much what Elder Scrolls Online is it's a fucking MMO with a fucking El Elder Scrolls skin on it. And I tried to play it multiple times, and I just couldn't get into it. I appreciate that you can have a kitty mount.
What you munching on over there? Uh, I got some anans. <laughs> You're making me hungry. I had a burrito when I woke up. Yesterday I was so hungry, so I went out to anans before I started streaming because I was like, I know I'm going to be munching. I didn't even think about that. I'm going to have to give me another drink here in a minute. What the fuck am I watching right now? I have no idea. What? It looks like human, like the style looks like humans fall flat, but. Is it humans fall flat? Pick your fuzzy fighter. Oh my god, the poor kitty! <laughs> what? What is this? They all look drunk. <laughs> This looks like it might be inter play like fun to play just because it looks inter what is happening? They like all have ragdoll mechanics. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh my poor kitty. No, it's still going. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh, that took a turn for the worst. <laughs> oh, there's another kitty. Oh, it's so cute. What is going on <laughs> <laughs> okay that sure was okay. interesting i might have to play that one just because i mean game pass i can be a cute kitty and pummel people i'll play it here's, here's hades i never played hades i heard it was good yeah I'm not usually into game top down games like that, but that's the same thing familiar. I said yesterday. Like top down's usually not my thing. Yeah, it's hard for me to I've... focus on it with my eyes. But the story is really interesting. I like the animated got... cutscenes. I'd say our style is really nice. It was uh... a thank you. Was in the lineup for game of the year. It's definitely pretty. Yeah, it's unique. It's definitely the, to be like an indie game, and it also like to have its own uniqueness. It's pretty. It's pretty good. I might give it a whirl. Console launch exclusive. Console launched like a year ago. <laughs> yeah, but very few people have them still. I think the PlayStation numbers are at like 3 million or something like that for PS5. Yeah, hopefully they're easy enough to buy in store soon because my brother still hasn't been able to get one yet. Yeah. I mean, I got mine day one, but even Rich, he had to wait like he he worked at GameStop and he had to wait like over a month because he he couldn't get it from GameStop. He had to get it from like Amazon. Hmm. Interesting design, I guess, for a game. Not really, not really my forte. Okay. Can I have Smallville 2022? <laughs> Devontae said he had to buy his Series X from eBay. Rip, dude, rip. I just barely got mine from GameStop. I got my PS5 day one from GameStop, but it's literally only because I worked at GameStop for like 11 years and I still knew a ton of managers and I had one held for me. They're super, they're super hard to get. Yeah. Hopefully when I buy a Series X, it's not going to be that hard. Halo Infinite multiplayer will be free to play and invite more of you than ever before. 
core to become a Spartan hero. I'm excited to be here with Joseph. Uh, I know this is going to be blasphemy. I'm not really that into Halo. I was obsessed with Halo 2 and 3. I still play Halo 3 because I have like a legendary edition. And I also do like Halo Wars, but I haven't played anything post Reach. I remember I stopped playing after Reach because it was like too dark. I couldn't even see what was going on. Halo has always been about heroism and wonder, about fighting to keep humanity safe against impossible odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci fi world. This is just one part of the set of Halo Ring, the largest, most wide open environment. Devante said he loves Halo 3, ODST, and Reach are his favorites. I liked ODST and Reach, but the, well, I liked ODST, but it was too dark. Like it was, I couldn't see anything. I love. I think three is probably my favorite, especially the co-op where like one of you can be the arbiter through the whole story mode and the multiplayer. I don't know. I really like Halo 3. Actually, if I get a Series X, I think the first thing I'll pick up is like the Master Chief Collection, just so I can play it all like remastered. Because I still play Halo Three like on my 360. This is Master Chief's brother, Mr. Beef. <laughs> Yeah, Devontae, I grew out of Gears of War, too, also. I actually know somebody that works on Gears of War, like one of my close friends. But uh, <laughs> I can't. It's, it feels too clunky for me. Is Master Chief dating Cortana yet? Do they have little AI kids? <laughs> That's all I care about. I want little blue AI kids. There she is. She's been deleted. No. How? Are you? Of course not. Did you hit your head or something? Don't you remember? My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for retrieval. Yours were to take her back to the infinity for deletion. No, Cortana's my favorite. <laughs> Me too, Devante. Welcome back, Atherin. Of course, you can't have a Halo game without multiplayer. And on Xbox Series X, you'll be able to enjoy Infinite's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Finally, I'm very happy to announce that Halo Infinite's first free-to-play multiplayer season and Infinite story-driven campaign will launch together this holiday. A new day is upon us. A new generation built to fight. Together, we are unstoppable. Are you ready? <laughs> Oh, it looks a lot better than it did in that first trailer. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, the announcer's voice is still the same. That's good. Yeah, I'm, I'm a sticky plasma guy and a needler guy. <laughs> the needler's fun gun to use. Mm. 
Has the grappling hook always been a thing, or is that new? The the what? The grappling hook he's using is that new? I don't I don't think so. I mean, I've played up until like Reach, and like I haven't I've never uh, saw it in a game. Ah, oh, this is kind of making me want to get a Series X. <laughs> Playing versus in Halo is super fun. Like, especially with friends. Yeah, I've never actually played versus Halo. Well, the closest I've gotten to is Destiny. It's Maybe super close to Destiny because it's the same creators as the original uh, Halo. Yeah, I know that. So if you like Destiny, you'd probably like Halo. Whenever I play Destiny, I feel like I'm playing Halo. That's the, the reason I first started playing it. Soul Blade says the grappling hook is new. Okay, that's what and I thought. Devante says grappling hook? What the hell? <laughs> oh, there's a plasma sword. Yes. Oh, the dude's like a samurai. Who is that guy? I like well, him. Be that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I had a crush on Cortana. <laughs> When she started going evil, I was like, it's okay, babe. I'm going to go evil right there with you. <laughs> Let's take over the world. I saw a spider. I'm already out, dude. <laughs> I see Egyptian stuff. Is this a new mummy game? Oh. I was interested and now I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I know. As soon as I saw top down, I was like, come on. Next. <laughs> <laughs> the kitty sleeps. <laughs> I'm going to go take a quick cat nap. Ugh. They just remind me of like mobile games. I don't know why. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say the same thing. Kind of yeah, Devontae, free to play multiplayer for Halo is good. Like, I would definitely like just get that for the free to play. I'm gonna have to get a Series X. I feel like I have to. Yes, come to the. There was no up. reason for me to have an Xbox during the Xbox One generation, like zero, because everything that came out came out for PlayStation. So I already had PS4. It was no no big deal. But like, I need to get a Series X. My wife is like probably watching the stream right now. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> you can get you can get a Series X in 2027. <laughs> Catnaps are real. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, not in a Diablo. Are you staying for a Square Enix after this? Probably. Yeah, because that's where we're going to hear anything. If there's anything to say about Tomb Raider, that's more than likely where we're going to hear it. Yeah. What is happening right now? The graphics look pretty. Yeah. Okay. Devontae asks, what do you guys think about Back for Blood? I haven't seen too much gameplay myself. Uh, I, have, I haven't seen that much for it. I know that they're coming up, WB's coming up after uh, Square, I think, with uh, Back for Blood. Hey, 
He's every hour so good presidente. Every time I see him, I just feel like I'm watching uh, Breaking Bad. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. When I am dead, may Allah has burned it. That is exactly true. Hold hands. Devante said he heard Plague Tale was good, so it's nice that it's getting a sequel. Yeah, it's, a, it's one of my... One of the games that's on my list to play at some point is the first one. Is that... uh? Is that on PS5 as well, or is it just is it just Xbox? Mm, I'm not 100 sure. Devontae, I might stay on for WB and just uh. Depends. I don't know if WB is doing just back her blood. I want to see some Gotham Knights stuff. It's probably right now one of my most anticipated games coming out. Oh, and Devontae said it's on both consoles. So cool. Even if I don't get a Series X by then, I can play it. Nice. Oh, uh, we can ride tanks? Okay. They might have sold me on that. I'm really a big fan of tanks. <laughs> Would you be a dare say tank girl? <laughs> oh, yeah. This looks interesting, but way more because uh, like Far Cry Five was so open and so much like land in between. This one looks like it's going to be way more like city congested. If that makes any sense? Yeah, that's what would just get lost in a wilderness and look for wildlife. Oh, it's a puppy! It looks so cute to use. Fox Live said it'll be funny if they make a Breaking Bad reference in the explosion. That's kind of what? Oh. That's kind of cool. I'll probably play it. I'm, I'm I'd be. I'd be. I'd be. So. Mucho bueno. Cute little fox. I'm sold. <laughs> Is this what I think it is? Oh, <gasps> it's a new slime rancher! <laughs> oh my god! Is this new or is this DLC? It looks new. I'm sorry, I'm kind of losing it over here. <gasps> you can lose all you want, it's better for the reactions. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful! There's, you can have buns! Evil tar slimes. Where's the kitties though? They still gotta have the kitties, right? <gasps> yeah, Devontae, the art looks good. Oh, it is a new one. Ah! And it's part of Game Pass too. Oh my god, I love the first one. It is so much fun. It's just a it's just a fun game. The art style look looked really nice. It's really yeah, I would I would su suggest giving it a try if you ever do get an Xbox. Okay. Welcome back to Shredigan. Here's a new trick. Let's go. Man, I can't believe I called it though. Like when the video first started playing, I was like, is this 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 looks like Slime Rancher? Oh, that's so exciting. Soulblade said it looks dope. He's glad it's on Game Pass. Devontae said he's going to play it. Play it. Oh, I can't wait. It is so fun. I haven't really been into the snowboarding games. I used to play one on uh, what one did I used to play? I think it was on PS2. <laughs> yeah, shit, I don't think I played one. Like maybe like I, I remember playing a game like called Too Extreme that had like a bit of everything in it. I kind of just like stopped playing sports games in general. Like I mean, I think the last sports game I played was probably like EA MMA on like PS3. 
I like racing games, but that's about oh, it. Oh, yeah, racing games don't count to me. Like, I play all the Need for Speeds, and and uh, Midnight Club is my favorite. I wish they would bring that back. Okay, you hyped me up with the stream, the, the Slime Rancher. Now, can we get back into more exciting? I'm, nah, whatever. Shredder's cool. How are they going to have that name and have no turtles in the, the thing at all? What in the freak? I know. We, okay, what? The way they have these lined up, man. What, what, what the hell? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I play now what? Random, like, Ukrainian or Russian pop music. I'm at a what? Is it a this grandma is like a, a ladle? First you had my curiosity. Now you have my attention. <laughs> I think it looks so freaking weird. I just want to know what it is. Well, atomic Heart. It looks weird, fun though. Yeah, like, that's what I mean. That, like I like weird, so. Yeah, that looks like well, that's a. I might play it just to. Give it a shot. Console launch exclusive. <laughs> Soulblade says, I know I shouldn't have done drugs before watching this stream. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Does DoorDash order deliver them? <laughs> What's up, Rocky? I'm digging the art style of this game. Yeah. I don't know if I'd be able to play something like this. It seems like it'd be hard to tell what's going on. Digging the OST. I hope it's not copyright. Yeah. Please don't be copyright. Replaced. All right, I'm going to look into that game. I'm just going to freaking get Game Pass because like everything's just on Game Pass. I might as well just get Game Pass. Yep. It's definitely worth it. I'm just gonna get. I mean, a you can get a bundle deal for like Xbox Live and Game Pass together. So the money that I spent on, uh, well, yeah, GameStop does like. Uh, I think they have a program where I can get <laughs> money for it. Because the money I have aside right now for I for it, I would be using from my uh, PSVR, my PS5 VR stuff. But I might just get an Xbox. Screw it. So in the dark side. I mean, I, I still have a 360, so it's not like I'm 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 not crossing that line too far. <laughs> I've always straddled the line, like a stripper. <laughs> I'm pro all consoles. I'm on that I'm on that console line reverse cowgirl style, man. I just play them all. If there's good games, I will play them. So I got I got a Dreamcast, a PlayStation Two, an Xbox 360. Yeah, if it's good, dude. Nintendo Switch. I forgot we still have we're friends with each other on Switch, and I don't think we've ever played Switch together. Nope. What the freak? Get out of here with that. No, thank oh. you. Oh, thank you. There we go. Arachnophobia safe mode. That's what I'm going to be turning on. <laughs> I have like hardcore arachnophobia, dude. I can't. I can't deal with that. Even though like Spider Man's my favorite like Marvel character. <laughs> 
Oh, it's my entire high school career grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Fox Live said a bug's life. <laughs> I wonder what this game is. <laughs> I have a an angry affinity against this game automatically because some uh, stupid teenagers came into my New York apartment and they like broke in and they spray painted like the uh, among us characters all over the walls and like elevator of my lobby what the hell i know and they got caught on camera but they didn't care they just like spray painted among us characters all over soul blade says among us finally coming to xbox oh ragaroth is here ragaroth do you want to join the stream can i do you want me to send you a link stop being a baby let me let me yeah. send you a link. get your butt over here i'm emailing you a link right now you can't say anything against it. If you say anything, I'm just going to murder every potato in your house. I, don't, I have no idea what that meant, but. I have no idea what's going on now. <laughs> hmm. A lot of anime characters. I'm missing anime stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Our style is neat. Like Rich, I sent you a link. You better join. Or uh, different from the actual style of the characters. But I'm not really into Bye, Maki. RPGs. You should just watch the stream on silent on your phone. <laughs> I didn't have that kind of fear of spiders until I lived in Arizona and I had like a freaking like giant spider the size of my hand bite my thumb and it blew up like a balloon. Now I'm like I'm terrified of all spiders. They had drives to the Among Us Vandals. Yeah, dude, I was looking for them kids. Like, I was straight up. I had their, like, their, like, the picture that got printed out from the security cameras, and I was, like, looking for them. They, they're they happy. They're glad I didn't find them. Someone would find them, like, wrapped up in a mailbox somewhere when some post office is coming to get the mail on Sunday. Like, I'm not, I wasn't even playing. I was so mad. It just, like, made me not want to ever play the game. <laughs> Ragaroth, you better get in here. If you don't get in here, Kitty's going to fall asleep. <laughs> Another... Can't remember what the... What... These games are the war strategy games. Never really, never really gotten into these games. I think the only ones I really liked were like the StarCraft series, like originally. And like I said, I do play Halo Wars still on 360. And that's pretty similar to this. It's the same style. Age of Empires. We begin by hearing an old, wise-sounding voice. And we 
see a quiet, peaceful setting. This will make our game seem big and important. <laughs> now, something must break the serenity. Will this creature be in the game? No. Now, say goodbye to it forever. <laughs> what? This announcer is the best. <laughs> he said that. Wah. <laughs> Dude, this, this, I'm buying this game because of this announcer. I was about to say, yeah, as Outer Worlds. Okay. I wanted to play Outer World, so. Yeah, it's another one of my backlog. I'm 100% going to play it now because that announcer. That was hilarious. Simulator? Flight simulator. I'm oh, a guess. It's getting Series X enhanced. I just asked my wife to bring a Snapple because <laughs> I don't feel like getting up. I don't want to miss anything. I'm going to have no choice. I have nobody to bring me a drink. I'll email one to you. <laughs> Dude, that'd be cool if you could do that. They have these little like ports that you could just like transmutate things across the, the net. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Man, if only... Are they adding in jets to Flight Simulator? Hmm, okay. Free expansion. Top Gun. All right. Oh. Well, that's pretty. Whatever this is, I'm getting it for the graphics alone. Fox Live said, Highway to the danger zone. <laughs> is this Forza? Forza? Drink, show me a drink. <laughs> Oh, copyrighted song. Do, 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 do. Copyrighted song. Let me, hold on. I might have to, like, mute this because the the song. That's all oh, good. yeah, you can get it. Oh, yeah. 
That's right. Okay. You can get get silenced. <laughs> I'm unmute in a second. <laughs> Take my money, will you? Definitely some pretty vistas. That's for sure. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. Got razors. But I tried to get away from the mic and I forgot that the mic picks up everything. <laughs> Do 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 do. This is the official soundtrack. Do do do. Yeah yeah yeah. What's up, Pomi Forza Horizon Five? <laughs> I play me some Forza. I love racing games. All right, let me turn this sound sound back on. Okay. Hello. Hi. Mike Hi, Mike Brown. freedom and beauty. And this year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful, diverse Mexico. This is the largest and most diverse open world ever in a Forza Horizon. <laughs> I love how they're like, this is the most diverse and it's just a desert. <laughs> yeah, it looks gorgeous. Talented actors who will be appearing in the game. Bienvenidos a Mexico. I can't wait to show you what we've been working on. We begin in the rainforest on an expedition. This is a new campaign mode in which you set out on an adventurous journey across Mexico to explore new. How long are they going to talk about this? I wonder if I can go grab a drink while they're still talking about Forza. You want me to turn? You want me to send your screen down until you get back? Uh, yeah, sure. And you can go ahead and mute me real quick. I'll be right back. Our adventurous campaign, but Forza Horizon has always been a game that's best enjoyed with others. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. The Xbox Series consoles allow us to capture every last detail, right down to the individual needles on these Troya cactus. The scene looks real, but there are no tricks. This is in game. Maddie is behind the wheel of the AMG Project One Forza Edition. Mexico's lush living desert. That looks gorgeous. To meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Thanks to the next generation of our Horizon Live servers, everyone else we see here are real players. And it looks like Maggie has been joined by some other members of the Fort City. <coughs> Let's look at Maggie for a moment and head out to the coast and meet Don. Don is already on the move, exploring this.
showed you 30 games. 27 of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Now, in the end of the year, I had to get a, you can look a pillow. My gluteus maximus is dying. <laughs> I had to ah, that's better. I just put the green screen back there. I'm like, whatever. Because <laughs> like, it was like, it was like literally like right on my back. So like, <laughs> I had to like move it. I'm like, whatever. It's it's done. What you get to eat? You got a fig Newton? Yeah. RPG Starfield coming mm -hmm. exclusively to Xbox. But we also have some of the industry's best RPG storytellers working on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6. We unveiled the stunning multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter in Halo Infinite, adding to the roster of iconic Xbox shooters alongside Wolfenstein. Where's my Dragon Ball? <laughs> we premiered the most epic open world racing game, Forza Horizon. Forza looks gorgeous. Bringing you a vibrant and authentic depiction of Mexico in a game built from the ground up for next gen. While the team at Turn 10 is hard at work on the next smoke sport. Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. Xbox has been here for 20 years, and that's because of you. Our team strives to make Xbox a place where you'll find the greatest games, the most dedicated developers, and the most passionate community. Together, we all make Xbox the best place to play. Before I go, there's one more thing. Take a look at this brand new original game from the arcane team at Bethesda. I think Soul Blades is going to join us. That created Prey and Dishonor. Arcane created something new for them an open world immersive shooter that you can play. See, so join the Yoon fam because they get to come on streams with us. <laughs> and like Starfield, this game will be an Xbox exclusive. Looks well, so definitely interesting. Yeah. Just getting wild with those sick beats. <laughs> Sub Devante. Oh. This PvP or PvP? What's up, Soul Blaze? Hey, what's up? This PvP or 
Mm-hmm. See, that's why I said you gotta join the Yoon fam because they can join streams. <laughs> <laughs> So, Blaze, are you watching something in your background? Uh, I have you on my TV. I've got to mute it now. Do you have headphones? You can put headphones on, and I think it'll still be fine. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be right back then. All right, I'll remove you real quick, and I'll add you right back. Okay. Representing the kitty, the uh, the kitty ears. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Do you think things will ever go back to normal? Would you want to go back to normal? Otherwise, still have to pay my student loans. The hell is this game? Oh, there's beats again. Yep. There's, that's a good question. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta get down to the copyrighted beats. That game looks interesting. I might be a. Uh, I mean, vampires are vampires, so. <laughs> so, is Xbox and Bethesda just doing it together? They weren't doing separate, so I guess next is just Square. I guess so. What it seems like. Yeah. Blaze, can you turn up your mic a little bit, buddy? Oh, yeah. Uh Oh. Is it better now? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I forgot about the Psychonauts too. Yeah. Definitely looks pretty. Uh Atherin says maybe I'll join for the Bandai Namco one, Mark. Hell yeah. All right, that's uh Tuesday at five o'clock is Bandai Namco. There's definitely a few games in there that I'm curious about. And of course, I'm really excited about Slime Rancher 2. Party Animals looks fun. Yeah, the Plague one looks good. Um, Party Animals looks fun. I was actually really excited for the Far Cry 6 uh, reveal. Oh, were you? Yeah, it actually looks I- really good in my opinion. It no, it, like the trailer I saw today made me want to get it, but like I always say, every time a Far Cry comes out, that like I'm not gonna play the next one, and then I always do. Mm-hmm. Um, but I will probably definitely be getting that because it looks good, and the dude from Breaking Bad's in it, so how can you not like that? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask him for some chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Or Series X owner, or Game Pass fan, or just here because you love the sound of my voice. That's not what I do. 
There is a lot to be excited about. Let's discuss. I'm Ryan McCaffrey. This is a very special Unlocked Post Show live after the Xbox press conference. It's all part of IGN. What well, time does Square start? So to help break everything down, Miranda Sanchez, Destin McGarry, and Cam Harden. And in the chat, we have Ava, so be sure to say hi. Good question. It's like, is it done? They're done showing stuff. It's just a dude talking about what we saw. Yeah, I think this is a showcase. Like, they did the pre-show, too. Mm. So we can, like, mute them and talk about what we thought. And then when the net, when Square starts, put it back on again. If you want to do yeah, that way. That work, yeah, that works for me. All right, let's go to... Uh, Cannot wait to watch it again in 4K because we're watching it live. We're watching it all compressed, but it's already looking really, really good. I am stoked. I, I... All right, so I'll add them back um, when they come on. When uh, they actually start Square, did you guys find out when Square starts? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can check real quick. Let's do this. Hey Google, <laughs> SquareSoft E E3 2021. Uh, it says 12.15 PDT, so that's three hours in Eastern time. So it should be 3.15. So we have like 45 minutes. Okay. I might put on some uh, some music. Powering on. While we talk. Okay, we can either do music or we can... Uh, oh. Do you guys want to? All right, shut up, Jam Plus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, were you, Soul Blaze, were you here yesterday? We we went we did a deep dive on my channel. Uh, I I did I missed the stream yesterday because I was at work. So. Oh, okay. We watched my very first video from four years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, we did we watched the video of all the 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 intros because somebody wanted to see the oh no it's Mark Yoon intro again because we haven't done that in like forever. Mm -hmm. uh, it was it was pretty fun because this month is actually my four year anniversary on YouTube. Oh, it's, uh, congrats, dude! Thank you. June twenty June twenty first. I uh, I'm, I think mine was in March. Your four year was in March. Yeah, it's crazy. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm probably gonna do something fun for it, but I just don't know what I'm gonna do. Like some said, some people said I should get like the best clips of like my um my most memorable or popular videos i guess and then just do like a clip show kind of thing and talk about stuff um maybe we'll do a live stream and do that that, that sounds interesting yeah i'd definitely um, be down to watch it yeah someone was like you should do all your old outros i'm like yeah but every single one of them is like copyright because i wasn't monetized yet so it's all like k-pop and like oh. <laughs> you remember the k-pop <laughs> exits yeah <laughs> but uh i don't know well what did you guys think let's start with that uh, who's hyped for Halo Infinite? Because I, I am, it. and I, <laughs> I, I, that's literally when I told uh Kitty, I was like, okay, I have to get a Series X now, like, yeah. I just have to, I have no choice, I'm not allowed to not get a Series X. And if my wife doesn't like it, she can suck it because I'm getting <laughs> a Series X. <laughs> it's like my four year YouTube anniversary, but in August, it's my 10 year like marriage anniversary with her, so like, it's oh, like, damn. Maybe, maybe that's what I'll ask for. <laughs> she'll, be like, she'll be like, okay, for our marriage anniversary, you can get a Series X, but for my present, I want you to not get a Series X. And she'll just like negate it. And that's like, okay, fine. <laughs> it's the uh, uh, Uno reverse card on that one. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. She's pulling Yu Gi Oh <laughs> on me. I could always like just download Game Pass on my, um, my MacBook Pro and play that way. It would be easier to stream stuff that way since it would be on my MacBook automatically. But. I don't like using PC for gaming. I like, uh, I don't know. And I don't know if MacBook's good for gaming. I've never played any games on MacBook before. In my experience, the Apple products have never been really amazing for gaming. So I, I have a PC too. Um, I just don't have it hooked up. I actually, my PC is like right over there. Uh, both, la both, uh, computers are in here. I just only use that now for like music storage and video storage and stuff like that. Cause, um, I just haven't had use for it in a while. Oh, okay. Um, okay, we'll start with Kitty, and um, then we'll go down to you, Soul Blaze, and we'll see, like, uh, what was your favorite stuff? What are you mo most looking forward to? What do you thought was the most impressive? All that kind of stuff. 
Oh, well, for me, hands down, Slime Rancher 2. I've been wanting a sequel to Slime Rancher for since I played the game forever ago, so I really want Slime Rancher. And the, the uh, party animals looks fun. Looks interesting. You know what, the volume is too loud. And then I liked what they showed of Far Cry 6, of being able to ride tanks and ride, like, buggies that can be, like, float into the air. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, the Far Cry 6 trailer actually got me super hyped. Um, I wasn't always... Like, I've played all of the Far Cries. But like I said, I always just get so invested in, like, the world and, like, hunting down, like, the different animals and stuff. Because I love, like, predatory animals. So, like, I'm always looking out for, like, sharks and, like... Uh, like gators and crocs and if you put them in your game like i'm automatically gonna play it like i automatically downloaded uh that one battlefield game just because they had the, the megalodon dlc i was like all right i'll just buy the whole game just because of this one dlc uh that's actually why i originally bought the um what do you call it uh, uh assassin's creed odyssey because of the atlantis dlc i was like all right well now i have to just buy the game so <laughs> um but yeah so that that definitely looks good so what else uh did you like is there anything you didn't like for me, yeah. Um, I don't know. The rest of it was just kind of like I was indifferent about. Um, it's a shame we didn't really see more on actual Fable. I would have liked to actually see more of that because we just got the title screen last year, and that's all they kept showing us. So, um, I don't know. Most of the rest of it's like I could take it or leave it. I'm indifferent. I'll play it. I mean, like, I, that's the crazy that's the thing is I can play any of these games if I want to since I do have Xbox and Game Pass. So I can just be like, oh, I want to play that real quick. I'll just download it, give it a try. Bam. But yeah, Slime Rancher is what I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. I definitely wanted to see more Fable, too. I don't know why they actually didn't, but uh, maybe it's just not, there's nothing ready to show. Probably um, not. Like I said, I would have still liked for hype just to put us like an, uh, an HD version of like all three games. Yeah, uh, I think that would have been a really good opportunity to get people reinvested into the series before they announce something. But uh, I'm not them, so whatever they do, they do. Maybe they don't have enough budget to allocate towards that, or maybe like, isn't it a different studio? Didn't they hand off yeah, the studio? Yeah, for- Lion yeah. Lionheart did those games, and they're they're out of business. They got right. bought up by somebody, so it's not the same. Also, who's doing it now? Oh. It's a good question. Um, well, obviously Microsoft's working on it, but I don't know who the actual like company is because yeah, Lionhearts, they're gone. Oh, okay. They, uh, I think they, they were already teetering when Fable 3 came out and Fable 3 was good, but it didn't do as successful as they initially intended it to be. So that kind of, well that and then that crappy Connect game they came out with kind of just Oh, yeah. Put line card under. It was just, that one's nope. just a fever dream. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. uh, let's see. I think the Connect was a fever dream. Do you know when the new Fable is supposed to come out? Ooh, no, they haven't even given us a date. It says it's being developed by Playground Games. Playground Games, yeah, okay. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, what about you, Soul Blaze? Uh, definitely the Far Cry 6. It looks hella good from the trailer. Like, it's super hype. Um, the other one, I'd say definitely Halo Infinite, because I've always been a Halo fan since, I think, 2. Yeah, 2's my first one, too. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just hoping they don't disappoint like they did with 5, at least to me. Um, because the campaign on that, oh man, that was a mess. Like so. I said, I think the last good one was probably three, in my opinion. Like, I liked ODST and Reach a lot, but uh, ODST was, like, super, super dark. I couldn't see, like, anything in, like, the whole game. Yeah. I don't know why, uh, but I play Halo Wars a lot, though, too. I kind of like that, but um, I got to go back and play Reach. Maybe it's uh, maybe it changed. I don't know. <laughs> I, I mean, Reach was my last favorite one i did really love three because that's where like i got all my xbox friends through so yeah that's that's my favorite one it definitely had more of a community vibe for three i think i have the the big metal box one the legendary edition it's like this thick it's like so many discs in it uh-huh oh man i love that but uh i don't know like yeah I, the, the multiplayer on halo has always been fun to me too that's why i jumped on destiny as soon as like destiny came out because at that point the only xbox i still have is my 360 
Um, so to get that same kind of experience, and I it does like Destiny definitely does have a Halo feel behind it. Like it definitely does feel very Halo. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, at least, uh, I know some people have said they haven't, but uh, I think it's Halo esque. But uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Devonte Davis says I haven't played any Fable games. You should, especially Fable One and Two. They're great. Fable Three is so so, but Fable One is definitely awesome. Yeah, Fable uh, One I think was the best one in my opinion. You could probably get it on on a uh, Game Pass or something. I'm sure it's on there. Yeah, it's probably cheap. Mm -hmm. um, and Joshua Lozano says I haven't played any Far Cry game, but the trailer for Six piqued my interest. Yeah, I think uh, that's similar with me. I'm definitely down now. Is there anything you didn't like, Soul Blaze? Uh, most of the top-down games, like uh, yeah, I know it's like a cardinal sin to say this, but I've never been too big a fan of Diablo. Yeah, well, I mean, Kitty and I don't I'm like it same. either, so yeah, we're okay. the same. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah so like I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not into Diablo. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely excited for people that like it, but uh, yeah, no, I'm just not too excited for it. Yeah, I know there was a big fandom around it, especially like, oh my god, the Korean fandom around like Overwatch and I'm mean, not Overwatch. What's the top down one? League of Legends. Oh like, yeah, they're, like they're like crazy about League. So like, I always get asked by like my Korean friends, "Oh, you're gonna play League with us?" And I'm like, "No, nah, I'm not." But uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm good. But uh, yeah, I think I think it was a pretty good showing. I'm the only thing I'm pissed about is there's no freaking Dragon Ball game that got announced because like they always announce the Dragon Ball games on Xbox's side, but it was so like uh bethesda heavy that mm -hmm. like i i like usually they have an xbox showing and then they also have like a bethesda showing right but i know now that they newly merged they just joined the thing but it seemed yeah. like it was still only bethesda stuff really um i mean there's sprinklings of other xbox stuff and they're also like forza and stuff like that but uh i don't know i liked it i'm looking forward to square like i like what kitty said i want to see like what they're doing with tomb raider i want to see if they do anything new for um for final fantasy uh what is it 16 the new one? I think so. Um, I'm a blasphemer. When it comes to Final Fantasy, I know nothing. I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, I love Final Fantasy, though. So I even play the bad ones. When people are like, oh, I hate Final Fantasy 13, I'm like, I beat that game three times. So, uh, <laughs> like, not, not in the turn based. So, well, they're not really turn based anymore. Like, yeah, I, uh, anymore, but like I just. To get into them now, I feel like it would just be, I don't know, weird of me. And just I never grew up on the series either, so it's just like a double whammy. They're just like an RPG, though, because like every one has got a different story behind it, unless you're playing like a sequel. Um, yeah. I think that's why they came back out and they redid Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake, which I still haven't played yet. I have it. I still haven't played it yet. I've heard it's, it's really my, good. It's on my backlog. I played the first level of it, and then like I was like, I'm going to wait until the PS5 version came out, and then the PS5 version came out this week, so I'm going to do the free upgrade. And probably play it uh, now. But uh, Devante says, uh, "Yeah, with Far Cry Six, the trailer was actually interesting, and I think that their intention was to make it more Bethesda." Yeah, I think they wanted to really push it out there, like Bethesda's with us now, guys. So, like, if there are yeah. exclusive games, like, just deal with it. Um, I, I still don't think the new Elder Scrolls game is going to be exclusive, but if it is, I mean, they have the power to do that, and then they'll make more people buy an Xbox. So, I guess, like, whatever. Uh, like I said, I've never been like an, on the console wars side. I don't hate any of the consoles. I play everything that's got good games on it. Like, Coexist. Yeah, yeah. Like, they're all games. They all have different functionality. Uh, I think it's stupid to compare them because they all reach out to different demographics and different fan I mean, bases. They, got, the, they, they got their pros and cons. So. Yeah, they all have their pros and cons. So I don't. I've never really saw like a a reason to be like, oh, rah, 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 rah. to me, it's like the same uh, as like iPhone versus Android. It's like they do different stuff. So like people use them for different reasons and like the people that like have iPhones don't care about customization and the people that have like uh, Android like customization, you know what I mean? So like you kind of have to go that route. Um, I mean, uh, for phones, I, I always usually go Samsung anyway, but that's mainly just trying to rep the uh, <laughs> rep my fake home world there. But um, <laughs> uh, I don't know, like. I, I think the, all those wars are dumb. Just like what you like. Get over it if somebody else doesn't like it. And just like appreciate somebody else for that. Like I like what Soul Blaze said. He said like I'm not into top down stuff, and I'm very happy for the people that are. That's like yeah. a good way to look at things, you know? Yeah. Because uh, every man, one man's trash is another man's treasure. I'm sure like uh, some people. I remember I was talking to one of my friends about Dragon Ball, and they were like, "Yeah, my favorite Dragon Ball game is Ultimate Tenkaichi." I'm like, really? That's your favorite? That's like your go-to is Ultimate Tenkaichi? <laughs> like, I can play rock, paper, scissors with you right now. We can put on wigs. It's the same thing. And like, uh, 
but I, I learned to agree with why he liked it. He liked the character creation. It was before Xenoverse came out. And, um, I mean, I always say that, like, Infinite World is my favorite Dragon Ball game. But I, like, uh, I don't know. You have to learn to see what people see in other stuff and not just, like, throw your own opinion on everything. Yeah. But we're on YouTube, so that's what our job is, right? So screw everybody <laughs> else. I hate what you like. <laughs> yeah, make money off your own opinions. Yeah, so right. does exactly. the, Weaponize them. Does the Square Enix thing start in 20 minutes? Uh, it starts at it starts at 3.15. Uh, so for you right now, you're in central time, right, Kitty? So it's, yeah, it's, it's 1240 right now. It's 140. Yeah. So it'll be like 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah. It's in like 30 minutes. Um, that's why we're trying to pad this out with some conversation. Um, <laughs> Devante says, woot, woot, Android. Yeah. This year was the closest year I ever got to getting an iPhone because like, I actually have like my MacBook pro and my iPad pro. And like for my work and like they share stuff super, super, super like uh, easily with each other with like airdrop and stuff. But when this Fold 2 came out, man, oh my God. I don't know if you guys saw like the Fold 2. This phone is like, this phone is insane. Like I love this phone. Oh, it. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is intense. Like playing any game on this or watching any movie is nuts. Like I love it. So I had to get it. It was expensive though, so I don't recommend it. <laughs> How much like, is it? Roughly. Um, it was when I got it, it was 2000. Now oh. it's seven, now it's 1700. But, um, I just, I'm so tired of slab phones. And like, this is like the first fun phone I've seen in a while. You know what I mean? Cause they're all the same now. Yeah. Um, I mean, unless you want to go back to getting like the razor, the new razor, which I think is stupid, but <laughs> it's not, it doesn't, it's just, it's so small. Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Devante said, Jesus, Mark. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's actually pronounced Jesus. Thank you. We're in the world of Far Cry now, so. <laughs> Viva la Mexico. Uh, I don't know, man. I thought this was pretty good. I'm, I'm looking forward to, I mean, we're obviously watching the clock with uh, <laughs> anticipation, but what is the one you're looking forward to the most out of E3 this year? What conference is the one that you're really revving up your I'd say with for? me, it's, it's, it's Square Enix and just tomb raider i just want to know what's if there's going to be more for tomb raider because by god it can't just be a goddamn cookbook and the having a little collection of the rebooted trilogy that i absolutely can't stand oh you don't like the reboot oh <laughs> she made a whole video on it <laughs> oh okay i didn't know i'm sorry <laughs> i don't um, think they're tomb raider yeah tomb raider meets call of duty meets rambo Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, they're, I mean, yeah, they're fun games, but the fact that they're representing a franchise and they're so far from what Tomb Raider is actually about, so it's gonna I pull go. like a Tekken, uh, a Tekken Five with the next Tomb Raider. It's gonna be like Lara Croft is dead, and it's gonna be Abby <laughs> from The Last of Us Part Two is the oh, new main no. character. <laughs> oh lord! <laughs> she comes out with like two machine guns, like ah. ah. She even has like a Stallone <laughs> accent. She's like, hey, yo, you better join me. <laughs> <laughs> 10 oh, out of man. 10 game. Yep. That's going to be a game of the year. Golf club. That's like your, <laughs> your hidden weapon for melee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm probably looking forward to most to not to be uh, like flipping is probably Bandai Namco, but Soul Calibur is not going to be there. Like <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for like Demon Slayer and I want to see some demons in that game. Mm -hmm. Like all they've, have you been keeping up on that soul ways? A little bit. I I seen when they announced uh, uh, Rengoku, okay, for, uh, as a playable character, and I thought that was hella exciting. So, yeah, especially if you saw the movie recently, like I did in the theater, and I was like crying. But we're not gonna yeah, say dude. why. Spoilers. Oh my god, dude, <laughs> dude, the, in the theater, it was literally me and Ragaroth. There was no one else in the entire theater, so we're just like eating popcorn. Like, <laughs> 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 I, I watched it on a stream with a few friends, and like the whole time, like everyone was like, "Oh my god, we're all crying and shit." So. Yeah, I know, because I'm like, <laughs> you just announced, like I just saw him in the last season. He like just showed up. Yeah, like, it was like you're you're really throwing an ace from One Piece at me right now. <laughs> and I'm not appreciating it because as soon as I saw him, I was like, that guy is going to be my new favorite character. I'm never picking a new favorite character ever again. My yes. favorite character in Naruto, Itachi Uchiha. Okay. Oh. My favorite character in One Piece, Ace. My uh -huh. favorite character in Demon Slayer was Rengoku. 
is Rengaku. <laughs> no spoilers. And uh, <laughs> I mean, you can infer what's going on, but yeah. uh, I'm I'm tired of it, man. I'm tired of it. Yeah. <laughs> My favorite character in Dragon Ball, too. Vegeta, and he's died like 18 million times. Uh, everyone dies in Dragon Ball at least like once. <laughs> oh my! He got the worst though. Uh, Death of a Prince when it first came out, like when Frieza first killed Vegeta, that was the only time I've ever cried in Dragon Ball. But I watched it oh, like yeah. when it first came out, you know. So it wasn't like a meme or anything. Yeah. At that point, and the dub really blew it out of proportion with the Super Saiyan shit because like he didn't say all that like in the Japanese version. I think he dropped that bomb on Frieza like once or twice, but in the <laughs> In the dub, he's constantly just like, I'm a Super Saiyan. Frieza, yeah. he's a Super Saiyan. Oh my god, a Super Saiyan. No. <laughs> <laughs> just stop. And then, like, at that point, we're voting for Frieza to shoot you in the heart in the English dub. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but the Japanese diff was a way different experience. Um. Okay, Josh says he got to be your favorite character for two hours. And who would that be? Oh, I think he's talking about Rengoku. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Demon Slayer game is like Naruto Storm games, it seems, which isn't a bad thing, but I don't know. It's made by CC2, so it's exactly like a Storm game, and that's why I like it. I feel like they have a really good um, streamline onto what makes an anime game good. And the Naruto Storm series is probably my favorite anime series overall. So um, even the Ultimate Ninja series that came before then, I thought was were like great like uh, games. So I'm not mad. I wish that they did like. I hope they do like what Mu what the Musu games do. What's uh, who's the who's the company that makes like uh, Dynasty Warriors and Samurai Warriors and stuff? Oh man, I, let me Google that real quick. Yeah. Not sure. I know it's the hey, I'm gonna be right back if you want to mute me and put me off screen. Okay. Because uh, they they do the same thing, right? They take like uh, an anime Omega license. Force. It's who? Omega Force. They make Omega uh, Force. Dynasty Warriors. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because they do the same thing. They'll take like a license. Like they did Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage, and Ken's Rage 2. Amazing. One Piece Pirate Warriors. Uh, Dynasty Warriors Gundam. Um, hmm. Like they just take a license and they make it like its own thing. And they're awesome games on their own. Berserk, right? Berserk is great too. It's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, I, I hope CC2 takes this... Um, the same kind of skeleton and applies it to a bunch of different new like uh, IPs. I think that'd be great if they got like a license for like, even like a dragon ball or a hunter hunter or like you Hakusho show or something and made like, you know what I mean? Did games for those. Yeah. Even a Jiu Jitsu Kaisen game would be great in that, in that style. I remember when there was rumors for a bleach game by CC two that I was really excited for when that was like being like spread all over YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I think like the only Bleach game that I have is like uh, Soul Resurrection, which is like the Dynasty Warriors game. It's by Omega Force. Yeah. But um, I actually thought it was decent. I mean, I like that style though, so it's that's it's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. Um, Josh says we're overdue for North St New Storm kind of game, and I'm fine with that. Me as well. Yeah. Devante says with me, I'm just tired of the Storm games not really implementing that much more. Now we have Demon Slayer, uh, but they're gonna do different stuff with it. I mean, like. The thing that I like the most about CC2 is they take your IP and they kind of apply the same formula to it, but they also are really respectful of like what the vision is of that actual franchise. Because uh, the Naruto games, like whether it's the music and the menus or like how like the characters play or the running around free room or in two and three, they had a linear uh, like run around, but still it just feels very Naruto. I'm mm -hmm. sure they're going to do something different with Demon Slayer. It's not going to be a cookie cutter uh, like simulator like they did with Naruto. It's going to be different, but I just feel like they are definitely going to capture it. Yeah, they're definitely the type that's like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So. Yeah, and I don't think it is broke. I mean, they can change some new mechanics and stuff, uh, obviously. The only thing I have, I will say that I have got mad about is they were like, we're announcing six new characters this week, and they're new characters, and they were all just the same characters, but with their Valentine's Day OVA outfits. Oh, I and, actually haven't seen that. And they have the same exact move set. They just have different ultimates. It's oh, like, okay. so you're it's six clones like in one week, and that really really pissed me off. But mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, when they do something uh, on Tuesday, and we get to see some of the demons because they haven't shown any of them. Yeah. Um, I at least want to see the two from the movie, and uh, I guess like we can see like who do you think they can add? I know that uh, the spider they... mom maybe. 
Uh, have they announced? Yeah, I was about to ask about uh, the spider people that were in the uh, towards the middle of the series. I'm sure some of them are going to be in. I think they're going to do the spider mom, probably the spider dad, unless the spider dad is just a boss because he's kind of big. I don't know how they're going to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, Devonte said maybe I'm just getting old. Devonte, I'm I'm. <laughs> I felt like that. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel you. I feel you. One of the weirdest things about getting older is like you can't watch anime like you used to. So you have to really stick to a series. Like uh, I started watching Jujutsu Kaisen and Demon Slayer at the same time. And I actually dropped Jujutsu Kaisen and I followed through with Demon Slayer. I'm not saying Jujutsu Kaisen is not um, a good anime because I like it. I just think it's very formulaic to like Naruto, especially like Shippuden. And I'm like, okay, but uh, yeah, at the very least, he says spider mom and son. I don't know about the son. Because the son gets murked with one move. Like, he just threatens his sister. He gets murked. And then the other son is just, like, a little boy's head on a spider body. I don't know how they're going to work that in with, like, the game either. Unless they do him as a boss fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the body styles are, like, too weird for that. Uh, what was that one that um, Tanjiro was fighting? That, where he had to use the fire breathing? That was um, the son right or no? Which one was that? I think that was the... Was that the son? I, I want to say it was, but I'm not sure. He, was he the, said he was the main focus for a few of us. Dudes. Yeah, yeah. I just don't remember him doing that much except for using, like, puppeteering stuff. Maybe he could be, like, a conqueror. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I want to see the, the drum demon. He said oh, that yeah, that would be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah. The drum demon would be cool. People are in the, in the stream, like, You're supposed to be talking about Xbox, guys. Why are you talking about Demon Slayer? <laughs> We get sidetracked, okay? I'm sorry. I know. I know. Can't help it. It's just what happens here. You got to get over it. <laughs> oh, man. I had to move my green screen because, like, it was, like, right up against my back. And, like, I couldn't move in this chair at all. And my ass felt like I, it was in a coffin sarcophagus. It was insane. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, it was hurting. I had to put a pillow under it. Poor baby. Uh, <laughs> Josh says the demon blood art would be a cool thing to work into the game. And Devante says nothing wrong with a little sidetracking. Yeah, definitely. I don't think so either. It's almost, it's okay. It's five of, so we have 20 minutes now. Okay. Anything you want to talk about? Uh, man. Uh, I know I'm putting I, you I on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I wasn't prepared for that one. Um. <laughs> Uh, what are you expecting to see for the Bandai Namco? Because I'm actually really excited for that too. On um, I think it's Tuesday. Tuesday at five, yeah. Um, yeah. Five for me. I don't know where you're at, but uh, it's five Eastern time. Okay. Um, I think we're gonna see some demons from Demon Slayer. I think we're gonna see some footage from Tales of, and probably Scarlet Nexus. Maybe even DLC for Scarlet Nexus. Uh, even though the game's not out yet. Um, he said, "Yo, Soul, are you a Soul Calibur fan?" I mean, oh, yeah. he is a member. He is, he's actually <laughs> one of the few members of my actual channel. So, yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I've been a fan since two. Uh, that Because I was really young when uh, uh, Soul Blade and um, Soul, Soul Calibur Edge. 1 came out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Soul Edge. I think that was a Japanese version was called that. Yep. But, um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I it, was got the play... it was the Japanese version, and it was also the arcade version. But then when it got ported, it, it became Soul Blade. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've been a fan since two. I recently got the HD uh, Soul Calibur uh, version on the Xbox. That port yeah, have. I have that on PS3, the HD online. Yeah. So um, yeah, I've been a fan since then. Love it. It's a great. That, series. That's the best version of it because it has like uh, Heihachi and it has Spawn. Yeah, um, I, I love that because uh, I had the Xbox and the GameCube version when I was yeah. young. So. Um, yeah, I mostly played cool. on the Xbox because of Spawn. I did like Link, but it was Spawn, man. I mean, Spawn in the '90s, like you can't, yeah, yeah. you can't get away from that. Yeah, he's still my favorite comic book character. Oh yeah, mine too, <laughs> hands down. I love Spawn. Yeah, I had to go buy an Xbox Soul Calibur two as well. Yeah, I used to have all three. The one I didn't, I didn't even take PlayStation out of the wrapper. <laughs> like, yeah. I didn't because I just didn't care about Heihachi, and I knew that it was supposed to be Dante. And that's what irritated the crap out of me because it was supposed to be Dante from Devil May Cry. Yeah, but there's uh, like a oh good as the guest. Um, wait, was it Dante? Or was Dante supposed to be in in three? 
Uh, he was supposed to be in uh, two, I believe, but the, something fell through and they got. Um, it fell through last minute. They just pulled in yeah. a hockey because it's the same, like, they're under the same umbrella. So, yeah. They're like sister teams. And I was like, really? You had to do Heihachi? You couldn't give us, like, Kazuya or something at least? Like, mm-hmm. make it interesting? But, uh, I mean, now I can't say anything bad about Heihachi since the VA died. If I say any, if I even mention that I don't like Heihachi, people come at me, like, and, <laughs> like, with arms, I had one person like yelling at me saying they're not going to be they're not going to make a Tekken eight because the the VA died. I'm like, are you are you kidding me? Do you know how much money oh, that the game VA makes died? For- yeah, the Japanese VA died. Oh, yeah, not the American that. voice actor, the Japanese one. And they were like, they're not going to go forward with it. They're not going to do eight. I'm like, they're definitely going to do eight. That's like they're one of their biggest money milkers is Tekken. Yeah, for Bandai Namco. That's like if uh if Nozawa on like dies. Let me knock on wood because she better not protect us out <laughs> at all costs. Uh, exactly. Like if something happened to her, it's not like they're not going to make a Fighters two. It's not like they're not going to make a Dragon Ball Super like uh, two or new movies. You know what I mean? Like stuff moves on. People, yeah, people change and the stuff changes. Uh, which is the most underrated Soul Calibur in your opinion? One hundred percent Soul Calibur three. I always say this. I always stand by this. It's always Soul Calibur three. Uh, it has the least yeah. numbers behind it because it was only on PlayStation, especially right after they were just on all three consoles. But uh, it actually was supposed to be if more I'm not, in that game. If I'm not mistaken, one had like a, a, a an exclusive deal with um Sony, like specifically that they wanted to make sure it was only on theirs, and that's kind of what killed it off a little bit. Yeah, because they I didn't. Heard. They don't have the big. They never had the biggest budget, so Sony actually uh, put up most of the money to get the ma- game made. Uh, but they were like, "We'll give you the money to like make this project, but it's got to be exclusive." So then they were like, "Okay." And uh, I know a lot of people say that's their favorite one too, like me included. But uh, mm-hmm. they, also, there's stuff that they took out of the, the console version, which irritates me because on the on the um, arcade version and like the arcade version that originally came to home consoles as well, but it's really hard to find. Uh, like Huang Sung Young's in the base roster of that game. Um, they did a bunch of stuff like that, but then they took them out of the console versions, which is really annoying. Uh, yeah. A cloud from Final Fantasy was spo- seven was supposed to be the guest character in that game. And then it was switched to being the Xenosaga characters, but then that fell through. So they only allowed the costumes to be in there from Xenosaga. It was really yeah, weird. I was going like, to say, have- like the, I remember that one being like a custom character thing, like where you yeah. had to unlock that. They were supposed to be like pseudo guests, but then like they never showed up. Like they were supposed to be in Chronicles of the Sword, actually. And uh, oh, okay. you were supposed to beat them and unlock their costumes. But then they, I guess they didn't finish it in time or something. Uh, he said, same, my favorite Soul Calibur game. I don't care if it's broken. Yeah, I don't care. No one cares about balance in Soul Calibur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you cared Especially about balance the, in Soul Calibur, you wouldn't, you wouldn't pick Nightmare. <laughs> the, the fucking wave blades in 3? So oh my god, so yeah. <laughs> the wave swords were nuts. <laughs> Even the Grieve edges, man. All of those custom, like, uh, like create a character things. I remember yeah. if you got the, the Kanai... With the, especially the the the, the ninja style that had like the katana with that giant shuriken on your back, and you could like oh, that's the one I fire at people. Yeah. Oh my god, that was insane! <laughs> you like just throwing fireballs at people. It's like what is a yeah. street fighter? Exactly, <laughs> you could just spam from far away and take them. And out. not only does the fireball hit them, it also stuns them, and they like spin in a circle on fire for like a second. Yeah. It's like oh my god, yeah, I love that. Um, the I'm two that it. were the two that weren't that they had the biggest budgets were three and four. Uh, because both of them were paid for by other uh, companies, like Sony, like we said, paid for Soul Calibur three, and then Lucas, uh, Lucas Arts paid for Soul Calibur four. Yeah, but um, and we, we all know what happened with five. Him, Atherin says, Mark taking another shot at me for Nightmare. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I will forever. Every I, time I we that we, nightmare once. Every time we have one of the Yoon fan member streams, I, how many times Soul Blades do I have to be like, don't pick Nightmare, and then people only pick Nightmare? I'm like, come yeah. on. <laughs> It's like, all right, I'm going to be a creative character with Nightmare Sword. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's like, come on. <laughs> killing me. Unlocking Abyss back then was satisfying. I got to beat all of my challengers. Uh, my favorite memory is probably when I finally unlocked um, Night Terror without using a guide. But I had to keep pausing it because I kept dying and I didn't want to like lose my, my track. So I remember I had a game pause for like two days while I was trying to beat him originally because night terror was a a night terror oh kitty's back (laughs) oh sorry what we're we're like (laughs) and this is stuff you could have definitely been like putting in your two cents on so go ahead you need to talk for a minute because we've been Uh, 
Okay, Nightmare is full of shit. I'm, I'm with, Thank I'm you. with him. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck Nightmare. Fuck your Nightmare specifically. <laughs> oh my god. And Zigfried. Sorry, Asher. <laughs> this made my whole day. The same person. <laughs> and uh, my favorite is Soul Blade. So hands down, Soul Edge Soul Blade is my favorite in the series. Soul, I like the reason I like Soul Edge and Soul Blade. People always ask me why. They're like, "What do you like more about it?" Because most people haven't played it. And I'm like, that game did so many things differently that they don't understand. Like we were talking mm -hmm. about before, like you can actually get the weapon knocked out of the stage, and you have to fight with your yeah. hands and feet without a weapon. Um, and it was like daunting, but it was so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The lore that they built in that game with like all the cinematics and the story was was like a lot. It's Edge almost Master mode was the fucking tits. I'm sorry. Oh my god, definitely. Yeah. That was the double D tits. That literally was one of my favorite I want moves that of all mode time. To come back. That mode needs to come back. Towers needs to come back. Uh, I would like to see a fusion of Libra of Souls with um, Chronicles of the Sword, but I want more cinematics with it. Yeah. I think that'd be a perfect marriage. See, um, I think Edge Master mode should. Re play soul chronicles so they could still have libra and all that but then they should have like an edge master mode where you learn the character story like with the whole book thing and then you like unlock weapons for that character yeah i i agree with you i mean soul chronicles are cool but they're pretty much an arcade mode with like endings like there's not really uh much to them i we do like more modes can... in this next one yeah. yeah i mean we know why there wasn't that much in six we got i do cut six some slack because of the budget but uh I don't know. But yeah, people keep on inundating my comment section even today with like, what do you expect season three announced on Tuesday? What do you what do you think they're gonna announce as a guest? I'm like, it's not gonna be announced. Like Motohiro Okubo is not even working on the game right now. Like he's not yeah. even working with Project Soul. He's working on Pac-Man. And uh, there's a couple other members of Project Soul that are I think helping the Tekken team with season four for Tekken season four. So like the whole team Kitty's ready, letting her hair down. It's the whole team is like <laughs> not even there. So, and Project Soul is like two people, you know. I mean, well, it's not. There's like twenty something people, but still, you know what I mean. There's like there's nobody there. So, I doubt they're working on like a year's worth of content without their lead producer. And uh, with that, you know, I haven't even heard Masayama. And I know his name's not Masayama. That's his like his his like acronym name or whatever. But um, I haven't heard him talk about it or doing anything either. Yeah. Let's so see. ready. It says eleven minutes. Eleven minutes and twenty-five seconds. They said. Okay. For Square Enix, so maybe in like uh, six or seven minutes, we'll we'll put back to that screen and listen to these people talk about whatever they want to talk about. <laughs> Why can't uh, they just do a Soul Cover Three remaster? Uh, a licensing and B. Uh, they don't have the, the master files for that game anymore. I think so. Uh, so someone at Sony, <coughs> someone at Sony lost them. Excuse me. Also, Sony owns the rights to it. So if they ever wanted to bring like see, like Soul Cover Three back, and if they did find the files, like it would still only be an exclusive again. And I yeah, don't know if that would fly. Five for that. Yeah. I know you guys got to buy PS5s. I got to buy a Series X. Well, at yeah. least at least you bought a bought a Pro. So like, Kitty Kitty bought a Pro just so she could play with us in the in the gameplay sessions. Oh, okay. I haven't been on since like I think like a couple months ago for the PlayStation. Yeah. Well, I I understand because you got a Series X, right? So you're focusing on that instead of the PS4. Oh no, I don't have a Series X yet. I've just been busy with work and stuff. So. Oh, okay. You're busy with real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till I don't have to worry about that. Subscribe. Yep. <laughs> all, all four of you that are in the chat right now, subscribe. <laughs> I remember that first, uh, I think my my first stream was probably the most successful. The like, the thank you for 1,000 subs. That mm -hmm. one literally, I think I had like, uh, like 60 something people at one point. And I was yeah. like, and for my channel, that's like huge. But um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, like like you were saying earlier, Kitty, like 
like people are saying that uh, they'll su they'll support my channel if I get off Soul Calibur for a little bit, which I need to because there's plenty of stuff that I can talk about. But I mean, nobody watches any of those videos right now. They're all just looking for season three and they don't care about anything else. And I've already said what yeah. I have to say about season three. I don't know how many how many more videos I can rehash what I already said a million times about it. Yeah. Yep. And I just don't want to do that either. I don't want to like keep giving you the same content over and over again. It doesn't change yeah. anyone's minds anyway. Yeah. Uh, Devonte, even if you missed the stream, you can go to the playlist of my live streams, and they're all in there. Like everything, say all the streams save as regular videos afterwards. I'm listening to the Latin song that I made. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use like samplers to make songs or do you just do it like with your own instruments and stuff? Uh, it depends on what I'm using. So if I do guitars, I will plug it in and I'll, I'll use an actual guitar. But then mm -hmm. I actually use a different program. So I'll use, uh, what's the Apple program that I use? It starts with the L, I think. Okay. I forget what it's called. But sometimes on my iPad, I'll literally just like do recordings and like send them to my uh, air, drop them to GarageBand. Because I can't play like drums and stuff, so I have to like I have to use some stuff for that. I can only play the guitar and sing. That's like the only two things I can do. Actually, I just tuned my guitar for the first time in like six years yesterday. I was so excited. Because <laughs> living in living in New York, I couldn't play my guitar because like all the apartments you can hear everything and they're so small. But like now yeah. that like I have a, like a big beefy boy apartment. Like I got a three bedroom uh, in Jersey, so like I can do whatever I want now. And I was like, I'm playing the guitar. <laughs> nice. I tried to like sing with it, and like first of all, I forgot my own song that I wrote, so I had to go back and look up the notes in like my notebook that I wrote like ten years ago. And then I tried to sing it, and my voice cracked like eight times. I was like, all right, I need to do some training, I guess, because like <laughs> this is not going well. My voice was like, yeah, you got fat and you put strain on your chords, Mark. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Atherin says I need to make more songs. Thank you. I will try. And uh, I haven't done anything this month. Yeah, this month I've just been like doing stuff for the house. I still have to buy a bed. <laughs> like I've been sleeping on an air mattress because like I didn't bring my bed with me from New York because the movers didn't want to move it. Mm -hmm. So I got to buy a bed. But mattresses are super expensive. So yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm, I think I'm going to get that this month. But. The first one, I've only been here for a month, so I had to like hold back on some stuff because I had to buy a bunch of other stuff first. How was the move? Um, it was actually this time. Okay, last time uh, that I moved, when I moved to New York, it was a pain in the ass because I didn't want to spend a ton of money. So I actually used to work for a moving company. So I hired the same moving company that I used to work for, and they know they know me. So they only mm -hmm. sent one guy. So I pretty much, me and my wife did everything. It was yeah. a ton, but this time I was like, I'm just going to pay somebody to do it. I don't care. Like, I just want to drive down and then put my stuff away. I don't feel like dealing with it. So I paid some company $2,000 to like move my stuff down. Um, so that hurt <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, why so much money? But, uh, I don't know. New York's just expensive. I love being back here. Like it's, uh, everything's cheaper and no. bigger. Yeah. And we didn't have Walmarts in New York, so now I can go to Walmart. They, they don't fun. have Walmarts in or nope. what part of New York were you at? Manhattan. They only have oh. Targets. Yeah, they oh, only shit. have Targets. Uh, just like they don't have Wawa either, so they only have 7-Elevens. And I'm like, well, if you ever had Wawa before, you know you can't have 7-Eleven after that. Mm -hmm. It's like a, That's only on the East Coast thing, though, so I don't know if any of you guys know what that is. Wawa yeah, is no. only <laughs> – Wawa goes from, like, Florida up until, like um, – yeah, up until, like – not Maine. Uh, what's below Maine? Um, it's like right above New York, Ver uh, Connecticut, Vermont, Connecticut, Connecticut. Connecticut. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that goes from like Florida to Connecticut, and that's it. Because I think they're based out of PA. Oh, okay. Let's see what these. I know that are. Um, North Carolina had a lot of kangaroos. They're what? not in the southern states. Like actual kangaroos, <laughs> like the marsupial. Well, no, no. The gas, the gas station is called Kangaroo. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like I thinking like, about because yeah, I have a buddy North that Carolina lives in North Carolina. A lot of kangaroos. Yeah, because I I have a buddy that lives in North Carolina, and like he was the one I did an interview with on my channel before, the game developer, and he sent me a picture of like this like 
12 or 13 foot crocodile just walking down the street. And I was like, I thought they were only in Florida. And he was like, no, they have dinosaurs here. So when you're mentioning kangaroos, I'm like, man, who knows at this point? North Carolina seems like the Australia of this country. So isn't isn't it like uh, yeah. Texas, the place that has the most tigers in the world, too? Like supposedly really? more than like Bengal. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember hearing something like that because a lot of people buy uh, tigers oh, privately yeah, for in captivity. Like yeah, 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 yeah. That, that makes sense. Diverse wildlife. And over here, we see the famous racist. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> I may stream more Mass Effect this week, Mark. Okay, cool. I'm oh, you're playing Mass watching. Effect too? How much are you loving it? I need to get the Legendary Edition. I still have all the original games. Like, I need to get the Legendary Edition. But I actually still enjoyed Andromeda, and everyone shits on me for that. Yeah, I, I have, like, mixed feelings about Andromeda. I tried it out a couple of months ago, and it wasn't as bad as what I was expecting it to be from, like, all the reviewers saying, like, how garbage it was. But, yeah, that's that's what I said. It's not, it's not the best, but... Yeah. If you think of it as, like, not a Mass Effect game, I think it's a pretty solid game on its own. That's what I try to think of it as. Hey, Solar Flare, what is up? All right, let's go back to these these people over here. And um, beautiful. I try. PG IPs like Starfield now and Battle Worlds too. About oh, you know, Battle Worlds is going to be exclusive now. Uh, about and uh, you know we're getting and then then we're getting. Returns of old IP that were RPGs uh, back on the 360 and the original Xbox, like Fable. But when? <laughs> when, you asshole? They'll just drop Fable like that and then just not show us anything or say anything. Mm -hmm. They're like Fable, oh, which here, of guys. which you saw nothing of today. <laughs> yeah, that was disappointing. What JRPGs is he talking about? I didn't see any JRPGs. I wonder if one of those, uh, like those side-scrolling looking ones, maybe would have been. But that's not what a, a Japanese RPG is. That's not a JRPG. That's what I'm, I'm just trying to see what he's saying. Oh, but the, was that one where it looked like it was almost like a Paper Mario kind of thing, but it was uh, oh, anime? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know yeah. what you're talking about. Because I left, I went to go get a drink, so I didn't see it, but I saw when they were doing the trailers later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's what they might be talking about. So one, one JRPG, <laughs> yeah, not like, one. yeah, <laughs> come on. Matt says meow. <laughs> Our flare. Sorry, see, you've got me doing it Yeah, now. you just see, you dox them too. That's, I always do that. I can't help it. Is his name Soul really Blaze, Matt? Never, never tell me your name. You got to give me like a fake name because I will... I will use your name well, constantly. But oh, he has I, a different he has different uh, names on Discord too, so Actually I think Soulblaze told me his name on PlayStation before, but I forgot. Yeah, it was a while. <laughs> I, think, I think it was when I was drunk that one stream and you told me and yeah. you were like, I'll tell you because you'll forget and I literally <laughs> forgot. <laughs> and I called that bit. <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely did. You just you just completed the bit. Mm. <laughs> I'm ready for Square Enix. I wonder what they're going to open with. Hmm. I'm calling Final Fantasy, probably. Uh, I think they're going to probably announce like uh, the, what they're going to do next with Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Yeah. How much I is if I upgrade if I upgrade for free to like the the PS5 version? How much is the Ufi DLC? Do you know? Like just by itself, I have no clue. Guys, the timer has actually timed down. Shut up. <laughs> like, go, to the, go to the conference. Oh, now they showed the timer again. Okay. Okay, this is two minutes left. Just a fair warning. I might get emotional in this stream at some point. Okay. We'll, we'll, no, no, uh, we'll make... not emotion, but it's going to be we'll... emotion. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's emotion. <laughs> Atherin said, I'll gladly not tell Mark my name. And you told me your name before, too. I just forgot. <laughs> like, I, My memory is so bad. 
really they're gonna give us a a next video to watch. <laughs> we are fighting a war 30 years. <sighs> really? I don't know if they're gonna play any music in that. I had to mute it. I don't yeah. I don't trust their uh their trailers. Back to one minute. It was like yesterday. I don't know if you were – yesterday we were going through my old uh, archive, and I was getting so mad because ads kept playing on my own videos. And I'm like, that's money for me. And I'm just like, oh, go away, you stupid ad. <laughs> okay, shut up. 56 seconds, dude. Devontae says, when I was a kid, Return to Lightning in the PSN magazines looked cool, but I couldn't afford the game. Return to Light Lightning is actually the weakest one out of that trilogy. I like uh, the second one. Final Fantasy XIII 2 is cool because it's like a, it's kind of like a Shimigami Tensei or a Pokemon kind of game. You like run around and you like collect the monsters and use them to fight for you. It's really freaking cool. Knowing my luck, they're not. I'm gonna have any Tomb Raider at all. Just not even gonna get talked about. Yeah, we know. Shut up. <laughs> Exhibit A. You had to finish it with "Let's Go" without even enthusiasm. That's totes not poggers, bro. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you. New game announcements, updates. We know where we're watching. <laughs> we just need Why that reminder. <laughs> Some of Last us did drugs time. before the stream, Mark. Come on. <laughs> on Dragon E3. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Do you know what a is? Oh, that's Peter Quill. Okay. Ooh. Is there a Guardians of the Galaxy game? That's what it looks like. That was Star Lord right there. Ooh. Rocket. Ooh. Get Star Fox vibes. Now, is this better be its own game and they're not just like in the Avengers game as like DLC characters. <laughs> oh, please don't tell me this is an Avengers game thing. It doesn't look like it. I think it is. I think it's its own thing. Yeah. Okay, good. If this is like just a story driven campaign, I, I want to play it. Yeah, I'll play it. I'll play the crap out of it. I love Rocket is one of my favorite Marvel characters. I'm sorry. I'm going to be that cliche. I fucking love Rocket. <laughs> I really liked Drax in the last few movies. I want to lick Gamora's green Yeah, he face. was good. <laughs> I bet you do. Yeah. Well, I edited myself. I, I wasn't going to say face, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this this song, this is, this is a song. We need to talk over it. Oh, okay. uh, what do you need, Shrek? Come on, you don't need nothing. <laughs> Marvel, Marvel. <laughs> I don't want to get the stream struck. How fast would that be like? I am grouped. I am grouped. This looks good though. I'm already, I'm yeah. already pretty invested in it. Yeah, the little bit of gameplay from Star Lord looks really fun. Oh, she's in it. Oh, it's that Mantis, right? Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for the golden retriever. What is he? Is he holding a llama? What the heck? Uh, uh, I didn't it, even see that. It, I missed that. <laughs> isn't the dog called Cosmos? Did he just get a Anti-style by a tentacle creature. 
past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Guys. That is awesome. I can't hear it super well, but is this going to be just a campaign game? You can't hear it? It's a little quiet. I can't hear what he's really saying. I have it on max volume. Today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. All right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic character. Yeah, this is a story-based uh, game, Kitty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm playing it. I'm getting it. Yeah, I'm playing it's it. Happening. Yeah. Solar Flare says, is that Cosmo the Russian space dog? I believe it was. Oh! Okay, I was right. I was right. I was like, he's the. I know he's an actual character in Marvel. They also teased him in one of the movies too. I like the art style too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember first time that the Marvel crew came to Montreal. We were showing them the design of the characters, how they would look, and they stayed silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head it was a minute. Oh, he has a little group feed on his on his little goatee. Hmm. That's an awesome Drax, too. Yeah, the way that the, the art looks amazing for this. Yeah. Even those creatures look badass. This looks like it's going to be fun, too. Yeah. This is a day one for me. I wonder if this one's on Game Pass also. PS5 exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Be my luck. Wait, are you only Star Lord then? Oh, I hope not. It'd be really cool to play as other ones. Yeah, I would like to switch, do like a team mechanic, like a Ultimate Alliance type deal. Yeah. Maybe he's only talking about Star Lord. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a definitely a fun game. Yeah. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens the galaxy. There are a lot of very interesting villains in the Marvel franchise. And when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not. Josh says the character designs look amazing. I agree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my god, the mocap. <laughs> yeah. Interpreting it in its own way, I think, makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. It's not a matter of trying to replicate the comic or trying to replicate the film. It's trying to take the medium you're working in and make the best version of Guardians out of that. That's a good thing to do. They delivered everything you want. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna have a fun story. Yeah, definitely. I'm like, I'm super excited. The only thing that's making me a little nervous is they only talk about playing as Star Lord. I want yeah. to be able to play as the other yeah. Guardians. Yeah. Like swap in, in between or have like missions. Yeah, maybe like they do play them. an alliance where you just like press, like you can choose which one you want to be or like. I can well, who knows? We don't know yet. It's not out yet, so. Like, you'd have a lot less hitboxes if you play as Rocket, so it'd be at a huge advantage. Yeah. Take us to the 
I'm not a monster. Are you really offering to No, no, he is not offering that. Okay. Good work. So good. I guess we could bust him out after. Sir. Bust him out after. I thought you said bust the nut after. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's a whole other game. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Josh said, damn, Telltale up their graphics. I don't think this is a Telltale game. Oh, I think he's just making fun of how the... Uh, oh, the, the selection system? Yeah. yeah. This is like world is reminding me of uh i think there was one mission on destiny where uh you're on venus and it has like that kind of like storm thing going on yeah yeah i remember yeah definitely yeah. they have a similar like uh not mountains but there's little like individual section things too yeah see it's like it looks like you're only playing as peter Do you have like inputs where like you can control the team members like pressing like maybe like R2 in a direction like makes you do an action with like Groot or something? Like I don't know, there, there's a lot that we can... So yeah, there might be like on... team Yeah. Rocket probably smells like crap right now. <laughs> Oh. Oh shit. Ew, it's like slimy. Mhm. Mm the graphics are good though. Yeah. I mean, it'd suck if it's only Star Lord, but I think I'd still play it. I think I still yeah. would too. Ooh. I wonder if it's one of those situations where you just have to beat the main campaign with Star Lord, and then after you beat it, you have the ability to like unlock the other characters to play as them. Yeah. A selection. yeah. That would definitely help with like replayability and longevity. Mm -hmm. Solar first says, "I hope this will be better than the Avengers game." Um, that's not hard. That's not a hard baseline to beat. <laughs> I can say it looks like it to me, but that's. It definitely just looks like a single player, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like you can call in like your teammates to do certain things. Yeah, it had like different attack wheels, which is cool, kind of like RPG style. I like that. It looks oh, this gorgeous. Is where they beat Rocket across this, I think. Yep. There it goes. <laughs> oh, no. Poor Rocket. <laughs> Encourage track. <laughs> yeet. Let's stop him. Yeah, there we go. Uh, yeet. Poor Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rocket. I'm sold on this already. I'm yeah, I lo I'm loving it. It's 
giving me a little bit of like um fallen order vibes Just yeah with, i can like, see that oh, yeah i can see it yeah those creatures look so cool yeah it's just some jello. <laughs> Spiky jello. Yeah. I like oh, yeah. Fighting. I saw the faces of the characters. Yes, yeah, so you can activate them to do attacks and stuff. And it looks like they have a cooldown after you use them. Like that was Gamora yeah. using an arrow. I'm going to have to do a trailer breakdown of this game. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot to it. He's activating his special. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. It'd be cool if you can choose what jams you listen to when you do this. Yeah, right? Yeah, this looks just this just looks like a good time. It looks fun. I'm all for more guardians. Oh, oh it looks like yeah, it looks like you could do like a little special together. Ultimate smash. I like the decision making aspect. Definitely, yeah. there's, there's probably some play value in this. Probably has different they did endings say, and stuff. The guy did say that you are, your decisions change what happens in the game. Oh, we got to talk over the music, huh? Yeah, let's talk about the. Uh... <laughs> we'll just all do Groot. I am Rocket. Groot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see Rocket's beads though on his goatee? Yeah, oh, no, I didn't see that. Oh, what the hell is that in the air? Yeah, they're just giant. Cool. Like, that is a cool looking animal. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sold. Come yeah, I'm, yeah, day one. This, this looks amazing. Hook on and sinker. Oh, oh, we got melee going on too. Okay. Yeah. Wow, way to do a trailer, right? Showing so much gameplay and stuff too. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh my so god. <laughs> Like music's gonna be awesome. This game's gonna be lit. I'm ready. My body is ready. Who is this girl though? I can't hear real awesome. She looks like a monster hunter character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got this, probably. Nice. October 26th. That's not that far Ooh, away. I'm getting okay. it. Yeah. All right. It says PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, S, and PS1. So it's cross-platform. They got the throwback costumes. Oh, nice. I was hoping they were going to do costumes. And the Steelbook. All right. I might have to get that that, that special edition whatever. Yeah. 
relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series, and then dig one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. Wow, these graphics are amazing. <laughs> they were back in the day. <laughs> yeah, they did. My favorite Final Fantasy is still Final Fantasy VIII, which people get on me for. I like five though also a lot. See, I would get this, but I already have all of these. <laughs> it's like I already <laughs> I have all of them. Uh, Coming to Steam and mobile. Oh, for mobile. Oh, Pewy farts. Get out of here. <laughs> What's this anime cutscene? Anime cutscene. I'm buying this game. What is this? <laughs> it's got an anime <laughs> cutscene. See, Soul Calvary, this is how you make a cutscene. <laughs> Solarfudge says, I hope they don't shoehorn in Captain Marvel or something like that. I doubt it. I wouldn't be surprised if Nova made a uh, cameo. Nova would be cool. I'd be happy yeah. with the Nova. Yeah. yeah. Legend of Mana. I might actually... I might get that. Wasn't There, there was a Legend of Mana before on like PS2, wasn't there? I think so. Boo! <laughs> Boo. <laughs> a growing roster, which well, means like four forever. characters they've added. Like, I really wanted to play this game and get into it. Like, I really, really did. Especially when they showed that first trailer. But I have heard nothing but... Even like Ragaroff has it, and he loves the game, but he said it's mediocre at best. And I'm like, that's great. That's a that's a good review from someone who likes the game that it's mediocre. Yeah. I heard that they're like hella slow on the DLC too. Yeah. Is Spider Man even out yet? I doubt it. And that's supposed to be game, a PlayStation exclusive, also. Game's all over like a year old. I'm not really into the PVE aspect of it. Yeah. If this is like a solo game, then I'd probably way more into it. I heard there's only like, what, like four villains in the whole thing, too? Oh, for real? Yeah, I heard there's like hardly any villains in it. Hawkeye? Yeah, Hawkeye's DLC. But I think all the DLC is free, right? I don't think you have to pay for any of the DLC. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't have the game myself, so I couldn't say. I don't have it either. I might pick it up just to play it and see like for myself how it is. Yeah, I wanna play as Black Panther though. I want I wanna play as Spidey and Black Panther. Marvel. <laughs> Oh, this is Spider-Man, right? <laughs> that's a that's a Queens accent, clearly. Yeah, take it from take it from a New Yorker. That's a Queens accent. Every time we go to order from the bodega in Queens, we talk like this. <laughs> Wakanda. This sounds like copyrighted music. What do you guys think? Does this sound like copyrighted mm -hmm. music to you? I didn't even hear music this time. Yeah, I can barely hear yeah. it. Yeah. T'Challa, oh, scratch, okay, scratch, claw, claw, <laughs> go, go. Ow. I'm just Ow. trying to cover up this music. Black Panther looks really good in this, though. Yeah. Yeah. He was one of the ones I was most excited to play as, him and Spider-Man. Mm -hmm. I didn't even want to play as really anyone from the initial roster. Especially yeah. I heard because like, costumes are like really hard to unlock and stuff, and there's a lot of like real money stuff involved with it. Yeah, they want. They made like all yeah, all the cosmetics, like uh, all the cosmetics you pay for. Yeah, the yeah. ones that you can see. And I heard the ones that are in the game have like really low drop rates, and they're not that great. They don't even change like you like how you look. The skins are cost extra. Oh, and there's a lot of things I heard that I didn't like about it. I'm still probably gonna get it at some point just to check it out, but I'll wait till after all the DLCs out. Yeah, that's usually the safer option. I'm gonna wait till like Black Panther comes out and just play the game as him. <laughs> <laughs> Included. Yeah, oh, yeah, no additional cost. No. All the DLC is okay. free. It's like, why do you charge for costumes? But you make all the DLC free. I think that's how it works. 
I'd rather pay for the DLC and have the the costumes unlockable within the game itself for free. You know what I mean? Yeah. I agree with you on that. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Asian 47's disappearance, you must have used your remarkable skills. Is this Hitman? Atherton's got more content. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if Athens even in the stream right now. I haven't seen him say anything in a while. A sad and beautiful tale that echoes throughout eternity. Is this like Shadow of the Colossus' little sister? <laughs> Probably. Oh. I need to play any of the Nears, man. I haven't played any of them. The only thing I've done with 2B is in Soul Calibur. <laughs> yeah. I've heard the Nier, or the Nier Automata one. That one was mm -hmm. really good. I gotta play it. Yeah. This is for mobile, isn't it? This game? Probably. Thanks, yeah. 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 I actually played this game for a while and I stopped playing it. That Final Fantasy music gets me, though, man. <laughs> Give me Zach and you can have my money. <laughs> Fifth anniversary. The hell? The the they make that a shooter? Isn't it? I thought this was supposed to be the one that was centered around Zack. The first soldier? I know they're, they're doing uh, mobile phone games. It was so short. That wasn't even a teaser. Yeah. <laughs> it was like barely know what game it was. What? That voice. <laughs> is anyone coming on for the uh, Capcom stream tomorrow? Uh, what time is it at? Five o'clock EST. I might. Uh, no, I'm going to miss that one. You got work? Mm -hmm. I got a promotion recently, and I'm moving, or uh, I'm going out of city for work now. So, oh, congratulations! Thank you. I would say become a Yoon fan member now because you can afford it, but you've been one since the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can up your tier now. There you go. Yeah. yeah. I, I probably could. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Oh, Kitty, you were asking about Death's All last time, right? I think he's still a mm -hmm. member. Hmm. Huh. When I checked, he's still a member, and he's still on the Discord, too. I just haven't... We haven't heard from him. He's been MIA since, like, the... The debate. Yeah. The legendary debate. That was an interesting video. Rich was saying that I gotta make uh, go through that debate, and I gotta do all the the reactions of me and you, and just put them in like a like a blooper reel type of thing. A rage reel. <laughs> a rage reel. Damn it! 
no Xbox. <laughs> MDS <laughs> like, Live. Look. It looks interesting. I might check that out. That was a level from uh that they used in Soul Cover, wasn't it? I think so. Solar first said, if you can call that much of a debate, laugh out loud. <laughs> Matt said Kitty got worked up so much during the debate that our Texas accent slipped out. <laughs> I think it did. I started hearing some Southern slang, like just, just like come whipping out of you. <laughs> I remember one time he was like, uh, Can't help he was trying to talk over us. You were like, I am the moderator. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Yes. Remember that? <laughs> I remember that part. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> had to put my foot down. These are some cool designs, man. I like the near designs. Yeah. So is this for a sequel or is it like a prequel? I I'm not no so sure. Oh, it's coming out with a beta. Oh. I love these games. I played the first one. What do you remember about us as kids? I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! <laughs> Ooh, maybe I'll get the remastered and play it again. Wow, they improved the graphics quite a bit. Mm -hmm. That's Rachel Amber. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Oh, good, you're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. The sequel is Life is Normal, and it's just two girls in Beverly Hills, like just going through school and going to the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, yeah, it was a lot more boring compared to the first one, but I still think like the content in it was pretty good. I discovered this sounds like a copyrighted song, too. Probably. <laughs> Don't these people know that everyone streams E3? Come on, man. <laughs> You want us to talk about your trailer, but you want to throw some whatever this is, Imagine Dragons or whatever in there? Come on. <laughs> I got a feather earring. <laughs> Let's just sing over it. We got <laughs> Psychic power of empathy is not a thing. Wouldn't that be called an empath? 
and isn't yeah. an empath already a thing? Like, there's no psychic ability of empath because psychic abilities is just reading minds, unless you're talking about like telekinesis, telekinesis, or telekinetics individually. Maybe it's just like a combination of things. Like they're probably just generalizing it. Probably. When they use don't they usually say psychokinesis for that though? Yeah, usually they would. Yeah, they're just describing an empath. <laughs> <laughs> I think empath empaths are cool like powers. I think that's a cool power to, to delve into. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this is happening. And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. <laughs> he's like jerking off. She's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> She just comes up to like me. I was just like, I need a beer. Alex has uncovered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from his long term girlfriend. And now he is terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Please help me out. Why does he look like he got punched in the face like eight times? Yeah, I was about to say something about that. He looks hella bruised. Yeah. And why is the main character like the only Asian in this entire universe? I've seen nothing but like white people except for the main character. Maybe it's the town she's in. It takes place <laughs> in like Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she doesn't really have any powers. She's just Asian, and this is just how they are, but all the white people think that she has powers. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. This anger could kill her. What if I could just take it away? See, if I had this power, I'd be like, I'd be the worst. I'll just be like, oh my god, her anger can kill her. I need a beer. <laughs> just like fuck off somewhere. <laughs> Good luck with that. Just let it all happen. <laughs> This is the kind of stuff I could do without with these trailers. I'm just like, I don't care what you have to say. Move on. Like, we're just talking about the game. It's only, it's just, it's so pre recorded, too. It's not like, it's not like she's telling us anything of importance. You know what I mean? She's like, her powers look yeah. so cool. Really? I'm sure that's why they didn't base an entire game around it because they didn't look cool. Some guy's like, get the fuck away from me, bitch. And she's like, I think his anger is going to consume him. <laughs> I hate you because Trump put the tariffs on the Chinese. And what are you doing in my town? Oh, no. I feel really bad for him. <laughs> oh, you feel bad for me? Ding. Trophy unlocked. Now, now I like you. And I love the Chinese. I'm going to marry a Chinese woman. <laughs> That's the DLC. It's changing hearts. Team Ninja. Team Ninja. Oh. I mean, I like what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, this looks awesome. This looks like a mix between like Final Fantasy 15 and like Devil May Cry. Yeah. yeah. Just 
Josh said the guy from Fortnite. <laughs> oh, <my> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. This looks cool. The combat looks like it's really satisfying. Yeah. Garland. Garland's from Final Fantasy. Yeah, that's Garland from Final Fantasy. What the hell? <laughs> Devonde said Ninja Guy didn't make cry. <laughs> <laughs> that's a perfect title. <laughs> yeah. The sequel, Angel May Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> is this that like Souls esque like uh like Final Fantasy game I was hearing about? There's a Souls. That's how you looked at Souls esque though. It looks more like uh like Devil May Cry fused with like Final Fantasy 15. Cool. All right, we we hear you, Christopher Sabat. All right, Piccolo. Can you do one more voice that's not that same voice over and over again, please? This is why I don't watch American VAs. I'm sorry. They all <laughs> they just do the same voice over and over again and expect us to like not get into different characters. He might as well be like, go on, go get out of here. <laughs> yeah, whenever Yuri Lewenthal's in like voicing something, all I hear is Sasuke every exactly. time. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like when I was playing Final uh, Soul Calibur um, Five, all I heard yeah. the whole time was like, "Not at all." Sasuke. <laughs> what is this? What are you? I'm your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's 16. So 16 is the one with Garland, then. Probably. <laughs> that was the best part of the trailer. About our next Square Enix presents. I'm Matt Mercer. See you next time. Bye, Matt. That was it. Oh no, Tomb Raider. Oh no, Kitty is going to go off. <laughs> wow. Oh. Unbelievable. WB is coming up next, right? Ooh. Look at Final Wait, so they're coming up? That was just like the teaser for the It looks like there's a new team. Oh, there's see there's there's Laura. Uh. Awful new he says, looks like she's going to raid a tomb soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's the... Okay, I see what you mean by the Rambo thing. Yeah. It's right meow, Kitty. Well, here we go. <sighs> hey there, that was the Square Enix Presents E3 presentation right here on IGN Summer of Gaming 2021. I'm Max Phones joining me right now to attempt to break down everything we just saw but more likely to just kind of nerd out about JRPGs and superheroes, please welcome my esteemed colleagues, Mitchell Saltzman, Zach Ryan, and Cam Hawkins. Uh, surprise, we're getting a new Guardians of the Galaxy game in just a few months. This was kind of amazing they managed to keep this cat from getting out of the bag. or rather. Do we talk about what we just seen then? Since I've yeah, seen let's, uh, let's mute these guys. We'll keep them on stream, but uh, actually, no, we won't. Go ahead and start. Okay, so first things first, 
amazed that this game is coming out in October. Like, cannot believe that they've managed to keep this a secret to the extent that they can announce a release date a few. Well. Well, well, well. What did you think? Uh, let's, start, let's start with let's start with with uh, Kitty down there because she looks like she has a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, kind of calling bullshit that they didn't do anything with Tomb Raider, but we had it in that little bit before they started talking, so I'm confused now. Like, are they going to talk about that stuff? Are they going to like announce stuff? Like, are they like real people? <laughs> <laughs> like I know, because I would assume that that, that footage I want to say looks like it was from Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Yeah, I don't know if that was actual new footage, and it's like even if it was, like I, I honestly like I've stated in my video talking about Tomb Raider, I don't want another reboot mainline. Nah, I want a remaster of Tomb Raider one, two, and three. Yeah, so. these studio lights are hot. Um. The Guardians uh, game looked good. Everything else. Yeah, Guardians. Like, Guardians looks super fun. I think that was my favorite uh, showing from the Square side, and then also that new uh, Team Ninja Toy Cat uh, Koi Tecmo um, Final Fantasy game that looks lit. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a lot in there. The Life is Strange new one. I think I might play that. That looks good. Yeah, I'm hyped for that one. Yeah, I'm gonna have my own head cannon. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna have fun <laughs> with the game. Um, yeah, I think I like the square one overall more than I did the Xbox Bethesda one, but it was the same situation. The games that I expected, they didn't even talk about. They were just like, at the end, they're like, Fable, we're like, where? And then here, they're like, Tomb Raider, where? <laughs> like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, I don't know. Do you think a lot of these development teams are going to be doing their own streams and stuff, kind of like what the Fighters Roundtables have been doing recently and doing their own announcements kind of things, since I'm it's just streaming? I'm assuming so, because a lot of them do that like after the presentations, usually. Yeah. So, well, we'll probably learn and, more. And also, technically, Tomb Raider's uh, anniversary isn't until October this year. It's its mm. actual, like, true anniversary. Hmm. So it's like, like. Devante said, uh, yo, I'm ready for more news on the Harry Potter RPG. Who are the developers behind that? I haven't heard anything about that game in years. That game, like, then they only do like a, like it's like two trailers for that. And they never talked about it like ever again. I were talking about I a little bit. Was a Harry Potter Potter game. Game stuff. Yeah. Um, I didn't need the, the uh, mobile final fantasy crap in there. Like them just like shilling out new stuff for five year anniversaries and stuff like that. I can do without that. Um, like, oh, I have this new five star character that you're going to need to upgrade and use all the in game materials and spend actual money to actually get it to fighting level. Those stars look nice, but they don't really matter that much. Yeah. I think Guardians is probably my favorite from the whole day today. I'm going to say. Yeah. That one looked really, really good. I, it had me like glued to it the entire time. For me. Which one? Oh, Slime Rancher is like the one for me, but yeah, uh, Guardians is really close. Uh, Soul Blaze said, uh, well, I was, <laughs> I was just saying yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I didn't want to interrupt you guys, so I was just trying to answer him real quick. Interrupt, we're used to it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, Avalanche Software is developing that uh, Harry Potter game. Have you heard uh, okay. anything new on it? No, I just, I just Googled everything. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were like an expert coming out here with an avalanche. I'm like, oh, okay. No, I wish. <laughs> we got a we got a story here. Let's let's see. Let's delve in. I can like, just give you. What, what do you know about the Harry Potter game? He's like, hey Google, tell me about the Harry <laughs> Potter game. <for> <laughs> uh, I could give a release date. <laughs> what it's coming out for? But um, yeah, it says it's coming out in 2022, and it's going to be on mm -hmm. pretty much every console. Okay. Mm -hmm. Devante says, yeah, this presentation wasn't much for me. Uh, that Forspoken game shown at the end looked cool, but I didn't see it. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that, like, they just sh shoehorned in at the end and, like, this little, like, clip or mentioning something, but they, only, they didn't show anything, like, super groundbreaking. 
that I didn't already know about, except for maybe yeah. like said, Guardians and the Slime Rancher. And there was a few things today, but most of it was stuff that we already anticipated was going to be here, right? Mm -hmm. um, Pretty much. And I don't know if I don't know if we're going to stick around for the PC showcase. I don't know what they're going to show there. Yeah, I think I, I think I'm done for now. My my disappointment is irremeasurable, and my day is ruined. I'm sorry. <laughs> She's going to come back and join the stream like tomorrow and her hair is going to be all disheveled and she's going to have like <laughs> just empty beer bottles all over. <laughs> yep. Oh, man. Right well, I'm this. most disappointed that we didn't get any Dragon Ball showing at all today. Like it for the Xbox showcase. Because usually at E3, the Xbox usually shows like the newest Dragon Ball game that's coming out for the year. That's what they usually do every year. Mm -hmm. And we didn't get that this year. They're just like, yeah, Bethesda. Remember Sony? We bought Bethesda. Ha ha. We got exclusives. Ha ha. <laughs> and I'm like, fine. I'll buy an Xbox. All right. <laughs> okay. You got me. All right. I'll buy an Xbox. And hopefully, like when I clean once a week, it won't have that much dust on it. I will try my best to utilize it. Well, I'll just be part of Kitty's family and I'll just play all the games that she downloaded. <laughs> we'll just game share. <laughs> You'll be like, so Mark, what are you playing? Uh, whatever you're playing, uh, Valhalla, I'm playing uh, <laughs> Slime Rancher, you know. <laughs> um, Devante says, Man, <laughs> there you go. I have Minecraft on Switch. I think that's what I have it on. I've still never played it, but I own it on Switch. <laughs> <laughs> you never played Minecraft? No. I bought it when oh, I watched this one YouTuber was showing... Um, a Dragon Ball Z Minecraft world. Like they were like doing like legacy of Goku in, in Minecraft or something. And I was mm -hmm. like, Oh cool. I'm buying this. And I bought it and I just never, I never booted it up. It's digital too. It's not like it's physical. I just need to press like, you know, X, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll get to it. Like I, I spent so much time and hours into animal crossing and like, uh, and Pokemon that like, and, um, and Smash Brothers and stuff that like I kind of put my switch down for a while, focused on my PS5 when it came out. But I got to get back to it. Uh, man, I hate to think yeah, of I that. I feel like eat. Do you guys? We don't read some of the comments. My mouth is like super dry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Devante says, "Yeah, this presentation wasn't much for me." Oh, I think you read that one. Um, oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, man, I hate to think it, but I feel like E3 is a bit dying down because of the whole COVID stuff. Yeah, I'm. Um, E3's also been dying for a while. Like a lot of uh, companies don't even have a showing at E3 anymore, right? Like I think a, a yeah. bunch of major studios don't even do anything at E3. Uh, they have their own things. Like Nintendo does their Nintendo Directs, and like most of the fighting games have their fighting game roundtables, the Japanese roundtables. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I know NetherRealm does their own thing too. Right. Well, they can. They can do whatever they want. Yeah. They got money, money. Um, Atherin says, do they really have exclusives when half of their stuff goes on PC? I don't consider Ooh. PC <laughs> part of the consoles. So if I say exclusive, I mean exclusive on consoles to that console. I never yeah. I never include PC in that ever, like in that equation, because like that's like its own breed of thing. It's not like a console. I know people like to say that, oh, well, it's not Microsoft exclusive because you can get Xbox Game Pass on like PC. I'm like, well, yeah, but you can't get it on PlayStation or like Switch. So it's yeah. exclusive mm -hmm. to me. Uh, Josh says the. I'll, uh, what is that? Axolotls. Word? Oh, Axolotls, the, yeah. the, an the anorexic Quizacoddles are in <laughs> Minecraft now. <laughs> There's a few. If, if you want like DBZ things, you should probably get PC Minecraft for mods. I don't play games on my PC. I, my, my PC is for work. I have too much arts, art programs and music programs, and I can't. Like, I just stick to consoles pretty much for playing games. I think the only games that I have on PC, legit, I don't even have a Steam account. The only game that I have on disc is I think I have Elder Scrolls, Morrowind, and StarCraft. I think those are, like, the two games that I have. I really want to get into PC gaming. Uh, I would want to get into PC gaming, but it's like going down a rabbit hole of then like upgrading and buying parts constantly when like the new stuff comes out and it's not compatible. And then you got like issues with like, um, with like different developers taking over ports from consoles for different games. Like we have a Batman Gotham Knight and there's a lot of like, um, like licensing problems and then all these different things that pop up like Epic Game Store, or Steam, and then they compete and like one like 
takes licenses from another and then you got to have both it's it's too much for me mm. like i just don't that's it's too overwhelming for me to get into pc gaming that's what it is yeah and um um, and i would i would feel bad playing my like ps5 which only cost me like 500 bucks if like i have this like two thousand dollar gaming pc sitting there collecting dust you know what i mean so it would either be an all or nothing thing for me i would only exclusively become a pc player and ignore everything else maybe except for switch because it's totally its own unique thing uh Mm -hmm. or i could just ignore pc altogether and use it for work and play all the consoles and that's what i usually choose to do but that's just me preferably i'm not saying that everyone has to do that that's like for my uh, personality and the time that I have allotted for gaming and things like that, of that nature, that's what I think um, I do. But uh, if you're a PC player, like yeah. you have everything at your fingertips, so more power to you. It's just a very expensive hobby to have. And the modding community is amazing from what I've seen. Uh, the mods, for me, I've always wanted, but X, doesn't Xbox allow mods? Uh, they they might, but I don't know how to access it. Yeah, I, I know yeah, that, like, some games for- yeah, yeah. The Guardians game does look cool. Not my type of game, but I'll gladly watch. Uh, it's my type of game. It's right up my alley. Not too. Solar Flare says Solar Flare the Guardians. Oh. oh. But go ahead. Go ahead. I don't want to talk. My, my mouth's <laughs> uh, getting dry. Go ahead. The Guardians game looks good. Everything else is mad to me. Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm kind of in that boat. No Tomb Raider. Very upset. Yeah, Josh says i don't play pc but i still claim like all the free games from epic and steam <laughs> um yeah but i mean the thing is i can claim them too but i don't know what i would play them on you know yeah um like my macbook is like dedicated for things and my pc is pretty much like a storage vessel at this point so i would have to like build yeah. a gaming pc which i could do but again that's expensive and especially right now with all the chips and stuff that are in short shortage i think like in all the like all the new graphics cards that get sold out as fast as ps5s and stuff like i think like the rtx's and stuff i i don't know if i would want to get into it right now atherin said slime rancher 2 is my only interest yeah that game actually looked really good excited. like i like I've the never art played, style yeah i've never played slime rancher but that trailer itself like made me like interested in it yeah me too i'm right there with you Solar Fire 95 says no Tomb Raider Kitty Smash. <laughs> Roar. You just have to make your own at this point, I think. Oh, they, they, they're people who are trying to remaster one, two, and three, but they got shut down by Square Enix. I hate when those big corporations get like that. It's like it's free publicity for your game. Like, what do you like? Why? Like, what do you have out there of Soul, of Soul Caber, of Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3 that you're actually <laughs> making money off of right now? Mm-hmm. I could have the games on the, the last thing I saw is like they have Tomb Raider 1, 2, and 3, the PS1 versions on like the PS3 store. I don't even think you can yeah. get them on PS4. I think the last store you can get them on is PS3. More than likely. It's really upsetting. I know that because a lot of my PS1 games are on there. Like uh, I have the Parasite Eve games on there and Dino Crisis, all the Resident Evils. I have Mortal Kombat. I have a. Uh, uh, Mega Man Legends 1 and 2. Like, all my PS1 games are on my PS3, the digital store. Solar Fire said, looks at you, Nintendo. Yeah, I agree. You guys saw me make one Pokemon video on my channel ever, and then it got demonetized to hell, and I was like, screw you, Nintendo. And oh, I only made that... Yeah, and I only did that after they did their partner program thing, where they're like, okay, everyone can use Nintendo stuff now. We want to see you shine. And then, like, I did it, and everything got claimed. It didn't even get claimed. My channel got stricken. Like, I, it was stricken. And I was like, all right, well, screw you, Nintendo. I'm never doing a... And Pokemon's like one of my favorite things. So it sucks I can't talk about it, but uh, Nintendo will... They'll, they'll slash your channel for anything. I can be like, it's me! And they're like, no, you have my whole stream now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was going to say, like, like, Dante, what do you mean? Like, I just said it's me. They're pretty, they're pretty strict with their stuff still, even to this day. Well... I think I'm probably gonna bounce out. Yeah, I'm, we're we're bouncing too. I've been on we've been on here for almost four hours, so it's time to go. But uh, yeah. thank you both for joining me today. It was cool to have you on, Soul Blaze. Thank you, Kitty, for coming on at such short notice. Uh, I know you were gonna do yeah. your own thing. Yeah. Um, thank I'll you just, for having me. I'll just, no just problem. Send me your stream. I'll yeah, just well, upload it to the channel. Uh, you can't download it directly. How do we? How do we do it last time? 
You sent it to me via email. I emailed it to you last. Uh, well, that was like a. It, that wasn't a four-hour stream though. Um, it was a long okay. one. It was like two All right, hours. I'll, all right, I'll download it on my Mac and I'll see if I can send it to you that way. It should be easier that okay. way. All right. All right, guys. But uh we're gonna Bye. get going. But as we always say, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> it's I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Peace. See you guys. <laughs>